Let's do this. I am back. Good time, man. Good morning, everybody. Or good evening out there, rather. Yes, indeed. Good, good evening time. or good morning, depending on what on the planet you are. Yep. I am the Seroth. I am your game master for this this evening. Uh, for the Dresden Files. Last week we completed um, our first major story arc. We introduced everybody. Everybody kind of got all happy and good to go. Um, Beat of a denarian. Even, even many, many, denarian. many other things. Well, we beat up our our friend shot him in the throat, rather. Yes. Should we be should we be rolling? Do you have the rolls on screen? Do you need us to do rolls to clear the chat? There's I'm not worried about chat. About chat. There's nothing. Okay. There's nothing personal there. Okay, that's fine. So what the what's we got going on in chat is a um, one of my view, one uh, Cantaloupe Summers is currently sitting in the car with Greg Masters, who is going to be playing a new character next week. But they're driving back from Richmond, Virginia, to their house, which is a good, long drive. So, so they're they're currently listening as they try to figure out how to get the voice to, voice to work. Uh, so, Miss Summers will be joining us this evening. Greg will will not, or rather, Rick, as you can see below, he will be introducing a new character to us. So, Rick and Dick. <laughs> Rick. Rick and Dick. Yep. Rick and Dick. Rick. So I like the name. I don't know what it is about that name that makes me feel like it. Oh wait, I think I do. <laughs> Brings back some nice memories. All right. Anyways, I am the Seroth. I'm your game master as always. Um. So below me is Jen. Jen Joiner. Jen Joiner. Hey. She she gave a half piece symbol. She thought. Now, for those, I have uh, pretty much just your faces cut out. So the center of your screen is what's being broadcast. Right. So below Jen is Dick, or the Lazy General. You should follow him on Twitch. He's actually going to be doing a 24-hour stream immediately following this, this broadcast. Well, midnight Eastern Standard Time. That's close enough. Yes. So yes. then, the, the the photo next to, next to Dick is is Cal, is Calliope or California Cantaloupe, whatever you want to call her, Summers. She's Miss right. Summers. Yes, I actually said it. Um, yeah, it was Calliope. Um, so you're Calliope, but we we like to joke about that thing. All right, so so Dick keeps having was been, been playing with his audio, so he keeps giving giving an echo. How am I possibly giving an echo? I've got you guys down. Uh, well, you know what? I'm getting out the earbuds. That's what we've been trying to find. Uh, I'm sorry. Earbuds. Wow. Wow. She, he is. You're torturing him. Pushy. Now. I am torturing he is him. Pushy. Pushy. This GM is pushy. <laughs> okay, so then we have Rick or, or Greg Masters, who is not here right now. Then the uh, guy with the green screen next to, next to the photo of Rick is Kabuki or Fox. He is a variety caster. He streams Monday Monday through Thursday <laughs> here on on Twitch. Yes, it's twitch.tv slash Kabuki K A B O K E. Flows, doesn't it? I know. Like radio flows. <laughs> <laughs> like Kabuki theater. Well, that's how you pronounce it. That's not how you write it. No, so, no. that's not how you write it. So next to Kabuki, or Fox, is oh, Xavier. Shit. Hello. He's a viewer of the Lazy Generals and myself. Great guy. A lot of fun to play with. And then we it, have we have Lucy. Who's, I still who's, find it hilarious that you write my name incorrectly every now and then with a Y, even though it's an I. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? Uh, exactly. Uh... That was a terrible pun, and we all know it. Yet we all laughed. Exactly. And then we have Hi, Knighted Wolf and Xeno King. Hi, Lo. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh my god, they are there. Yes, we have people watching. So then this is, this is Lucy at the end. <laughs> I this didn't realize there'd be people watching. I know. Oh, people watching? What is this nonsense? 
What is Holy this heresy? Shit. <laughs> So we'll start the, start this off with explanation point disclaimer for those out there on Twitch and YouTube. Oh, this yeah. uh, this is a rated M for mature broadcast. Specifically because they're lazy and <clears throat> his as I have already boy. mentioned, we shoot we shot something oh. in the throat. It was very painful for it. <laughs> so there may be this 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 broadcast is definitely not approved for those under <clears throat> the age of consent in your country. Oh, no. I mean, it kind of is. If you have an adult in the in the room to explain unfortunate situations we come across, that'd be fine. As long as the adult under adult supervision, <laughs> I guess. Yes. Well, considering there shouldn't be little kids on Twitch anyway. Well, <laughs> that is know, true. They love, they love the Minecraft, so you know what can you do? I mean, really. <laughs> so it's just <laughs> yeah. As long as they don't stray too far from um, I mean, things like right. Minecraft and whatnot, they Minecraft is fine. a gateway drug. It is. Uh, as know. long as they don't go to That's things true. like that by daylight, they should be fine. As long as they don't deal with redstone, we're gonna be okay. <laughs> yes, but you inevitably have to deal with ro with okay, redstone. We're, we're, okay, we're sidetracking. I'm so sorry. Yes. We're hijacking. Yeah, we, we, but... We've been hijacked. So it's been about two years game time since since. We uh, last saw our heroes. Oh, shit. Our heroes oh, really? have been out doing things. Um, <clears throat> Dick has oh, actually been, <throat> spent a year in Chicago. Living yes, with... Dick has been hard at work. Yes. So so Dick was so trained bad. by a knight, an actual knight of the cross, so he has an idea of what he's doing with the cross, with the sword now. Actually, he actually seems to have gained an unprecedented mastery of the sword. Yes. Apparently he had a talent for that. Well, He's as good as you can possibly get at using a sword now. Obviously, but with a name like Dick, he should be. <laughs> so, um, he is carrying Spear Rocketus, which is which um, the other swords of the cross are Philokius, Emerachius, and... Philokius. No, you said that. That's Philokius. Uh, and Cephalokius? There's a third one. I was about to say that sounds like a horrible... Horrible and Michael Dukakis? <laughs> so bad. Amarachius, Esperachius, and Flacius. So the Flacius is sort of faith, uh, Esperachius is a sort of hope, and Amarachius is a sort of love. So, you, so is, you've heard it right here, kids. Yeah, it's uh, it's Dresden Files Shippuden right now. Dresden what? Dresden Files what? Shippuden. You're cutting out <laughs> now. I'm cutting out now. <laughs> Yes. yes, you are cutting out, actually. Yeah, impossible Dresden to please. Dresden yes. Files ship again. Yes. Because yes. uh, when Naruto, after this two-year time skip, became Naruto Shippuden. I, what? Uh, okay. So. It's like uh, Naruto Shippuden where there's a time skip. I so, so he calls it Dresden Files Shippuden. Wait, 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 wait. La lazy. I, I don't know if it's your noise gate or... But we're oh, missing. We're, we're not getting. We're not getting. Hey, hey, Liz. Um, hey, oh, I, not I have the headset now. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the, the disembodied voice is is is, is cantaloupe out there. Calliope. Yeah. <laughs> Hope the nice guy who oh, actually tries to say her name right. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> well, I am Canadian. Well, this is the purpose is I am Canadian. So all right, let's adjust yes. the Discord noise gate and see if that helps. Nope, not help at all. <laughs> that sounded like gibberish. That was great. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> what this is going on is is lazy is laziest uh, set up some new audio. Um, oh my god! Apparently, that screwed up everything. Yeah, he set up some new audio uh, sound effects, and I think that's what's causing some issues with Discord. Well, what do you think? What? Oh, we lost you too. Yeah, you just went high pitch there. <laughs> it's not just me. No. You know what? Do you think maybe yeah, it might be the voice call? Terrifying. It might be the voice call. Uh, drop. Do you think? Um. Hang lazy, up drop, the, drop Discord and come back in. It's literally like. Hmm. If. You can just write signs. Discord's been hacked. Is this better? Can you hear me? Nope. 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 <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. Through association, we can manage 
to make out what you're saying, barely. It was better when he didn't have the earbuds in. Yeah, actually. It's oh, like that earbuds, might be it too. It could be, it it could be like yeah. The earbuds make it worse. Sorry, guys. We are currently troubleshooting, trying to figure out what's going on. But while um, try it without the earbuds. Oh, I heard, I heard, I heard Miss Lazy with no problem. Let, let me try this. Okay, yeah, I'm hearing the problem now. Yeah, I, I heard turned this my monitor so I can hear what's going on. I heard Miss Lazy with no problem though. Well, you know what it is that... for her, pin was on her nose. You know what ended One up second. happening, Lazy? When you moved your mic away from you, it actually kind of averaged out. I'm wondering what. How about here? Not. There you go. That's better it. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's exactly it. So it is. It's it's Perfect. it's yeah. It was cutting you it off at this the top. It was probably peaking. So you're something. saying that my mic is filing a sexual harassment lawsuit? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Pretty yes. much. It's All right. So we're good now. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. In silky smooth high definition, the lazy general. <laughs> okay, so after ten minutes of trouble of, of troubleshooting, because we thought we had this all worked out before the stream started. Hello, everybody. Ironically, I moved the microphone closer so you could potentially hear me better. <laughs> yes. Fail. So much for that. So much for that. All right, so it's so been like I said, it's been about two years. So uh, Dick just got back in from his from his mission from God. Miss Bishop of Gad. Um, That's right. Yeah. Dick's back in. Miss Summers is. Uh, we actually. Never, I don't know what Miss Summers did for the last two years. Uh, she did go visit Loki in Las Vegas for for and spend about six months with him. Dick six also came back in Technicolor. Me? Yes. Wow. Hooray! Vivid Technicolor. So, uh, Lucy, what did you do for the last two years? Um, well, after almost destroying myself by using some magic accidentally, I decided I should go train. So I've gone to see Auntie Alice, and i um, been working on some skills. Yeah? Yeah. Also, uh... But I haven't chosen. She has not chosen, but Greg has been training with her, and has taken the mantle of Spring Night. Oh. oh, really? Yes. Sounds oh. very official. So, so there's the winter night, the summer night, and now the spring night. <laughs> oh my god! I'm already coming from you know the child of a frost giant. <laughs> yep. Something. Think about it. Yep. Very ironic. There's a certain degree of irony involved in that. <laughs> so, uh, Miss Joyner, what have you done for the last two years? I uh, can't hear oh, you. Now. You're muted. I forget. I have, I'm on push to talk. Um, so, Jen has been working, of course, at The Anomalist, writing her stories. She's moved up in the uh, supernatural world as far as that side of it goes. Um, and she's been working on, you know, her general abilities to see how far she can push herself, um, and what she can do. And that, that's really, um, about it. She's discovered that she, um, can, yeah. That she yeah, can channel her ghost for yes. more power? Yes. <laughs> I love that. What she did with the Marine? Really um... Yeah, she can still do that, but she also um, discovered she has a talent for uh, psychometry. Oh, does she really? Which means, for those who are not aware, that means she, if she touches an object, she can get see the history of an object if she chooses to. Well, that's cool. That's so good. That's such a good rounded. And that's also, such a good rounded item. also, she spent time with Fox on training how to use the sight, open up her third eye. Oh, seriously. Okay. Yes. Well, shit. All right. Mm. Yeah, if I recall the last time you used the side fox, you saw me as a giant burning bear of doom. Yeah, it wasn't really great for my character. Um, <laughs> it was kind I mean, of dramatic. I mean, I, I was, I was okay with it afterwards, but it really kind of messed me up a little bit. Yeah, it has um, a bit. Of, yeah, it had a bit of a dramatic really effect actually, last time I checked. If we ever, if we, every time we go outside of the bar. 
of of Greg's bar. There are times when I kind of like Fox's character, like Fox will actually kind of like he'll have this weird like he keeps looking over his shoulder and you don't know why he keeps looking over his shoulder, but every now and then like he'll shake it off. You see Fox as if you ever if you ever watch Fox leave the bar, um, he'll actually will for a minute take a second to get his bearings and then he'll keep on going because he's still getting weird residues of of images sure. of, of things that he had seen and he's never going to lose that so no he won't to be fair, it's amazing how I've often seen... foxy's escapades result in a bear catching fire out of nowhere <laughs> it's not my fault, the fire was just meant to represent my anger issues <laughs> remember the 1962 world's fair i don't know if there was a world's fair in 1962 <laughs> But you remember it? I remember it. All, uh, oh man, that bear exhibit was never the same. Bear exhibit, because you know bears around the world. Yeah, it was the world. <laughs> it was the world's bear fair. So, bear Zip guy, what have you been doing? Um, I really think I spent most of the two years training to become a bear, to become a stronger bear. But I guess you could say when I almost murdered that one uh, fey woman. I just kind of got a rush that I just couldn't shake off. It's kind of this instinctual desire to become a bear. Like not a were bear, an actual bear. Oh, you're trying to go more primal with your character? Yeah, a bit. Kind of but I'm trying to become closer to nature is the point. Oh. And that through that, I try to get closer to my goddess. That's yeah. the, that's the, that's my, what I'm trying to do. Because and because of that, because I spent a good chunk of those two years as, like, I purposely stuck myself in bear form, um, I become, I became a bit more used to clawing, so. Um, yeah. Yeah. You also have your battle armor produced by Borderlands Industries, I believe it's called. A saw. <laughs> um, hand produced by a, by a Terra... LaForge. Lef 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 and unfortunately, uh, Miss Summers is cutting out. She'll have to give you a little bit more details when she gets to a little better signals. Right. That is eerie. Yes. she. Miss Summers like, is on the road, so there is going to be some issues with her. Occasionally. That definitely. That is like, I sense a presence. Kind of like... <laughs> Moth man. So she, she's really just kind of... She, she loves the game so much, she's just trying to listen in. <laughs> <laughs> So. Also developed the taste of for honey. Can't quite get that off. Yeah, she may. They, she unfortunately may or may not stick around because of the. Uh, <laughs> so the because of the uh, during my two years, I developed a taste for honey. I just never seem to have shaken it off. Yep. All right. Is everybody uh, described what they've been doing for the last two years? I think so. No. <laughs> Did you forget Foxy? Foxy, what are you doing? What have you what done? What am I doing? I've been masturbating for two years. <laughs> no, um... <laughs> Literally. For two years. Like, I've been getting seriously. in touch with myself for two years. He no, said a Guinness um... record. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, I've, uh... Okay, so I'm... The way that I'm thinking for Fox... And there goes the word. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't I me. I got it. I got it, it before. Wasn't that's, me. The, that's, it wasn't the, that's the contest me. me and Lazy are gonna have to do. Who gets the warning before anybody else does? It's gonna be a thing. We're gonna see it as soon as like. It's gonna be great. Like next session, like um, Siroth is gonna be logging. It's like, hey, I'm the Siroth, and this be vagina. <laughs> 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 Uh, hi. Uh, so vagina. when it comes to Fox, vagina. Uh, so when it comes, can we to Fox, get that contract now? Yeah, it's gonna be in the contract. Um, but Fox, when it comes to Fox, I know Greg had set up um, Fox in the shed behind the bar because that was kind of his way of being able to do things. Did we? Did you? Did you give me an image for your for your lab, or are you going to give keep keep with the one I, I have? Got? I, I w at least keep that one for now. Um, but I kind of. I kind of have an idea of what I want to do with his area, um, but I, I, I haven't had a chance to look it up yet. That, that's all good. I just wanted yeah. to see what, where we stand. Yeah, so since he has the shed behind the area, he actually has, um, with the help of, like, uh, 
Calliope, because Calliope is also really handy for some apparent reason. She's actually very good with craftsmanship and stuff. Um, he was able to to put together also because you know Greg's got workers and stuff to set up like a an underground um, I guess lab, but it's really more of just like a little uh, like a, a a study area for him to kind of really get things together. Um, and um, also, I, I'm kind of thinking it, it depends on whether or not Seraph's okay with this, because uh, I, I just as I was shifting around skills just now, I'm thinking that he did some partial training with um, with uh, Shiro for a little bit, um, at least for since since uh, Fox yeah. is using his cane a lot. And he noticed that he was getting into some really fucked up grappling situations that people were going on him all the time. That he kind of needs a little bit of being able to know about using his cane a little bit more on a physical method, on a physical level. Not superbly. He's not going to be like some freaking kung fu master, but he wants but to be able to know. Can, at least he, he wants to know. Himself. He wants to know at least a certain amount of defense. So he kind of is working a little bit with his cane and stuff and. Um, he's 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 doing okay. He's building himself up, up physically just to make sure he can keep up with everybody else. Um, um, I do have but... a question. Go ahead. Um, if I'm correctly, during our last session, we had uh, so for some reason you became a warden. Yes, I did. But it Matt, when you come a warden in general, I mean that's that's magic oriented. So, but right. uh, yeah, I guess the idea, since I was a warden, I guess I did need to kind of step up, yes. you know, oh, to, round, um, to round myself one around. One thing you need to do is to pick my spells. That too. Yeah, I know. I have to pick, I've already thought of, I've thought of two already that I know I automatically need to do. The third one is the one I need to make sure, and I got to figure out how I'm going to do the verbal commands for that. Yeah. I, in, a, in a sense, I'm actually probably... I'm probably going to end up pulling the, Zat the Zatanna, the Zatanna route, um, which is uh, or the or the Mixelplex um, route, which is uh, for spell names to uh, pull it backwards. So if it's uh, like shield is like deal dealish, you yeah. know, like that. So it's basically it's just saying shield backwards. Things like that, because Zatanna does that yeah, as well. It's the strangest thing, but it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Like, I think it'd be something. I think if you were saying shield by backwards, it'd be something like Delice. Yeah, Delice. That's, like, well, like, that's how yeah, I. Like kind of stuff. Because if I remember correctly, the I is before the E in shield. Also, I still. I'm also. Um, I was also conferring really with. I forgot that his name. It is. You're still backwards every time. Uh, Frank is also with me. Yes. So he's also been helping me kind of put together the lab as well. Um, um, you also, also one thing you need to be doing is um, you need to add a plus. You need you you hold a gray warden sword. Oh, I have a sword with me. Yes, you're issued a sword. Oh, because I am a warden. Ah, oh, yep. crap. So, so me and so Fox and so Fox and Dick are going to be sword fighting. Is that what you're talking yes. about? Yes. Awesome. So that gives you um, <laughs> plus. I'll give you plus. Cross the old swords. Cross the old swords. I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. <laughs> Let's what, see how well you handle it. Okay. What the warden sword does is you don't get it. What is it? it they get it twisted. In here. Yeah. I hate it when my Schwartz gets twisted. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Warden sword, parentheses. Okay, what am I doing with this? Or are you actually typing it in? Oh shit. Where is no, it? I'm not typing it in. Okay. Uh, but but a but a warden sword cuts through all magical enchant cuts through magical enchantments. Oh really? Yes. And um when do and so and it's a magical sword attuned to you. Oh, really? So what happens if somebody else picks it up then? They're not it's not going to cut through the magical enchantments. It's not going to be uh, as good as good. It's it's So also basically it's just going to be some this regular old sword. 
Yes. It's also okay. when you hold it, it's forever sharp. And oh, damn really? you're un- and damn you're unbreakable. <laughs> that's convenient. That's con- well, that's, that's awfully convenient. convenient. And also, also when chopping heads off, it just slices it through like knife, a hot knife through butter. Oh, shit, then I'm gonna have to move. Okay, well then I guess I'm gonna pop up weapons up to good then. <laughs> <It's> gonna... <laughs> I guess I'm popping up weapons up to good status and then dropping down lower. Um, no, no, sense... no. You're, you're, you're fa- leave weapons where it is. No, no, no. Because if he has, um, what's his name? Shiro. Then, well, no, not Shiro. The uh, Frank. You don't oh, yeah. need lore so much. Yes, but he's not going to be carrying Frank at all times. Yeah, but still weapons. Weapons at two, <coughs> and he gets plus one to his roll already. Okay. So your oh, weapons. Like at... I, wait, is the plus one because of yeah, because of Loki's blessing still? No, After because of the sword years? itself gives you plus one. Oh, oh, it's a plus sword one. Itself so gives you plus sword, one. So your sword. So your your weapons are at, is at three to begin with, when you use the sword. Yeah, that's fine. It's actually going to be at good anyway. Then that's fine. Yeah, uh, that's that's exactly what I need. Then, yeah, so then in a sense, it does kind of make sense that I am training with Shiro a bit, just for at least some of that. Unfortunately, Dick does have news regarding Shiro. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, uh, he got, uh, he got whacked about are a you, month ago. Are you serious? Wait, so, wait, about a month ago. Yes. So, had I been training with him at all, or no? Uh, well, it's been two years. So, yeah, okay. So, yeah, so all you right. trained with him for a year, and then he moved on. He okay. gave up his life in defense of Chicago. Why? I don't know. But he stopped the, uh, a denarian from destroying Chicago, apparently. Why did he stop destroying Chicago? I don't know. Chicago doesn't really need that. We don't I mean, I Chicago. guess it could have been worse. He could have died saving Detroit. You know what I'm saying? I know it's true. <laughs> Shit, do we know? So he he did he did did Shiro finish off the Daenerys, or is Daenerys still in at large? Look at the clock. Um, the Daenerys is still at large. Fuck. Well, crap. What is that? Something that we're gonna have to deal with? Who knows? <laughs> I hope we don't have to. Cause... He's all the way in Chicago. We're still in New Orleans, right? Yeah, that's what they all say, yeah. and they end up in New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> There's only Denarian in New Orleans again. I mean, Shira wasn't supposed to be here now, was he? <laughs> so. <laughs> to be fair, that's true. I mean, you know, is anybody really supposed? To... Is anybody really from here? The Denarian the Denarian he was battling was Nicodemus Arcleone. The head of the order. Nicody- oh, was- oh, really? Oh, well, shit. <laughs> and this is what- this is what, uh, Dick learned in Chicago? Is that what it is? Yes. I- I penetrated the veil of secrecy surrounding events. That's a low-hanging that's, fruit. I'm not going for it. <laughs> that's one way to describe <laughs> your investigation. That is low that's hanging fruit. One way to describe an investigation. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's good. Are you kidding well, me? This entire campaign's been low hanging fruit. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Madam Pooks just suggested for my birthday a red velvet chocolate, red velvet Oreo cho- truffle chocolate cake, and I say yes, do it. Oh my God, that sounds heavenly. Mm-hmm. And Miss Summers is back, so she can actually describe the the battle armor that. Um, that uh, Borderlands Industries made for made for uh, Zave Guy. Hooray! We have a picture of it, don't we? Yes, we do. I don't remember actually Show discussing me. what the details Show of the armor is. We'll work yeah, that we out. Can, but... we can, we, all of its if glory. You it, if you know exactly what mount we're talking about, you can just put it into chat right now and just have people realize that he's going to be... that we got the armor after at least 10 or 12 runs trying to get the drop rate on it. <laughs> what it's a hundred percent? It's a hundred percent drop rate. It's the Armani Armani Battle Bear from Zolgarub in World of Warcraft is pretty much what he's looking looking like now. Yeah, that's that exactly was a whole lot of like. words that means Armani so very Bell. little to me. Oh my god! Yes, all of the yes. Oh, you it, never got to see the picture. Put in, uh, he was in the storm actually, with the race of Zuljin. Yep. Oh, you're right. You're right. So yeah, your bear looks like that. 
Yep. When he's wearing it. Yeah, yep. it looks like that, except it looks more like, uh, what is it? I'm trying to remember what kind of bear it was specifically. You're, you're more brown than gray. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that's what the armor looks like. Um, From well, Borderlands Machines. Borderlands Machines, instead of, yes. The only problem with getting it from Borderlands is as soon as you put the armor up, you see another one lying on the floor with better stats. <laughs> hey now, hey. Uh, so Zave guy, it will give you plus two. I'll it gives you plus two to natural defense, plus three to magical defense. Right. But it slows you down by t by uh, two. Right. Turning that down. So you can move, uh, sorry, by one. So you move 15 feet instead of 20. Okay. I don't know what this looks like. So we are still doing the wrap-ups from the last season because last because we ended, we ended, ended it with, okay, we're going to bed <laughs> last week. So this is all the stuff we didn't do at the end of the, end, end of the session last week. Yeah. So if there's any stresses after two years, everything's been there, reset. All stresses are, are reset. Are um, we just resetting our fate points down to nope. the bait? Are we keeping the, the fate points according to what we had? If you're beginning? if you're above your refresh rate, you get to keep it. <sighs> Fuck yeah. My stress is totally reset. Um, oh, how is how is Lucy's stress? Lucy's now? stress is reset too. I'm all better. Are you really? Yeah. You've worked out a little bit better on that. Like if they're like long breaks he between games. He realized he crippled me. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, so yeah. we're... Really? I'm just gonna take your staff then. And your cane so... and your little pipe. I got a sword. Fuck that. Well, <laughs> I always got the guns. That's true. Alright, so no, Lucy, you to pull. You, haven't you uh, also well... been working with guns and stuff during your time off? Oh, I've been totally training on everything. Have you really? You've yes. been getting a lot more physical on things? Yes, because... Well, it's funny how, like, how all of us have just, like, jacked up our own personal offense, defense. Uh, it was a training to, like, arc. Yeah. It really yeah. is. Like, this is huge montage. It really is an arc to ship it in, huh? And, like, yeah. literally, it's it just, like, everyone is training, backgrounds, like, well, like the music is Eye of the Tiger for yes. all of us. Look. No, I, 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 env I was immediately envisioning it actually being the it's gonna be a montage. <laughs> That's what's going on is the montage with with some eye of the tiger. Some... Little clips of video showing you getting better. A montage. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, I'll be honest, no, I think what happened lost. was a lot of us had like utility skills, you know, like. Like my character was built more for investigation and finding stuff out and see that's you know, the thing is like, and yeah um, I was kind of the same way I realized for the character it's been like this it was it ended up being this nonstop slugfest we always had you know we were always fighting our way through stuff and a lot of us were 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 less than prepared <laughs> no unless I mean, you were Gregory Masters yes yeah who was so the exception of Gregory yeah. Masters and technically speaking me yes yes so. A coin was flicked at me. It freaked me out. I went to learn things. <laughs> I got a coin flicked at me, and I oh, it panicked. touched me. I so, panicked. um, Dick, I did want to run this by you. Diana's all about trophies. You picked up a trophy, the Denarian coin. Mm hmm. Um, uh, it's sitting in your office now, on display. Excellent. Warded <laughs> by Fox to prevent people from w wanting to touch it. But, That's pretty awesome. But, but I had two coins. Yes, you actually have two coins. On display. Well, no. The one coin was picked up by Shiro. Oh, I thought I had two in my pocket. Because Shiro wasn't there for the last one. That I was in, anyway. He picked up, he picked up one coin. The coin that was flicked at uh, Lucy. Shiro? No, Shiro you wasn't did. even there for the you last did. battle. You did. You did. There was only mm. only introduced two coins that I remember. Mm. Shiro picked because Zev guy brought a coin in. Right. Yeah. Well, I think I think I had picked one up, and then one got thrown at Lucy, and okay. she dropped it. I thought you picked that one up as well. 
Yeah, I we thought I had two coins, coins in my code. Oh, right. Yeah, then that? you have two coins on display. I mean, I can share. I mean, I'm not like no, you're fine. Hoarding Denarian coins or anything. Um, actually, you are. Okay, I'm a I'm like a coin collector, who's psychotic. No, it's like it's like a, a ultimate trophy for Diana to be displaying these fallen angels that are so much more powerful than you, than her, her her champion. To be fair, that does a lot for changing the way I envision Dick's office. Like, could you imagine, like hundreds of years of hunting down the paranormal, and he's just got trophies lining the walls of his office. That's actually how I how I pictured him because he is a champion of Diana. Makes sense. So they're on their left or right side. Me. Mm. Um. I mean, I could be wrong on how you do that. But that's just how I'm picturing it. No, that that makes a lot of sense. I like it. Um, but sir off? Yes, sir. Um, I'm, no, no, I know okay. I mentioned my bear wasn't exactly brown but like when i picture the actual coloration of my bear i think of a like a kermode bear a, which a is kodak a, it, uh, that's what i think of when i think of my bear mm. a kodak you, like, okay. you imagine a kermode bear wearing a money bear armor a yeah, bear. Bear armor? <laughs> yeah maybe you got a dye job during the time skip. Yeah. Maybe yeah. you got a die job of trade. All right, so we've been at the so yeah, I'm all right. minutes into it, we've now settled Get down some on everything. Highlights here. thrown in. <laughs> okay, the so bear's got, the bear's got frosted tips. Yeah. I was about to say, I was like, I was like, right. he wears his cap like this all the time. God. God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just Masters got likes the idea of the bear with frosted tips. <laughs> I, 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 did he get an arm too? Look, kids, it's douchey the bear. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> now that we've covered all of that. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> what have you done? You fool! <laughs> oh, that's canon now, by the way. Yep, it's yep. canon. You're, you're, canon. Yep, you're, oh. yep. So, everybody's having a, a drink now in Master Greg's bar. Having me met up after two years of, of intense montage training. Montage! Dick is not there, however. I'm not here. Nope, you're... Not there. <laughs> I just put myself out of reach. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Oh well. Where'd you... What the fuck did you do with yourself? <laughs> I, I dragged myself up to like here, and apparently I went straight off the game board into oblivion. I don't even see you on my end. Good job, like I'm, Dick. I'm up here. I'm like up here, like somewhere. You see where I'm pinging? No, I don't. There. Yeah, I don't, like, even, don't even get the ping. You're not getting my pings? Nope. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five squares. There you go. From the top left. There we go. I'm right here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've, I've returned, but I'm still not here. Go on. Yeah. I return. <laughs> so you guys are, just feel free to chit chat and do that kind of stuff here. Yes, um, Richard got slapped so he flung himself so hard the monochrome has been knocked off. Oh, of oh, Dick. Oh, because he's not in black and white anymore. You're, you're. <laughs> really? I did a two-year <laughs> training montage to learn the ancient art of Technicolor. <laughs> oh, and then he learned he it. Gained so much power from the coins, he is now in full four color. Um. Oh my so for god! Here, we're, for doing, we're in his bar. Everybody, is so, and so is everybody here? Yes, except for Greg and Dick. Okay. For some reason. How did we get the news about Shiro in the first place, by the you way? You don't know Shiro's dead yet. Oh, so then Dick. that was... Like, then what? How did we... Okay. Dick is aware. 
Dick is aware of I it. I thought he just told us. Yeah, but he's yeah, not there to tell you. Basically, he said it out of character. Oh, so it was, okay, so, I don't know. It's out of character knowledge. We must not tap into it. So, I'm thinking yet. that the, the, okay, so the lab's already taken care of. In a sense, actually, like, I would probably, because I know, I know Greg wanted me to start doing research on, um, on items, so when Greg has to make his choice. I'm working on enchant I'm working on enchanted object research right now, probably in the lab. Well, I've been I meaning was... to ask, is my my battle bear armor just armor or is it somehow magically enchanted? I mean it gives magical protection of my armor. It's magically enchanted to uh, turn into a um, trench coat. Magically Oh that's amazing. <laughs> Excellent. That's awesome! Alright, the, the call for the trench coat in black and white is growing stronger. I'll be right back. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna switch your balls <laughs> off. I should get myself a trench Jesus coat eventually. Um, I would say Lucy pulled you out of your, out of your um... Monochrome state? No, your um, your lab, because she wants she hasn't seen you in two years. She wants to have a drink. Uh, oh, the, okay. From uh, Jared about the bear armor. Is it, uh, is it enchanted like Harry's trench coat like armor yes okay yes and and, and tara also also put in the the shape-shifting ability okay that's awesome. now now tara is awesome now um uh, zade guy mm -hmm. um this will be this this mount this is a item of power so it's gonna take minus one on your refresh rate all right so my refresh rate becomes. So add add an item of power, and it's mi minus one on your refresh rate. Well, hold on. How do I change um... that? Uh, apparently, it's not not doing that. So what you do, what what you should, what you'll do is then change claws to minus two. Put claws, comma, war mount, and then under war mount, write item item of power. Because on, on our character sheets, there's not quite enough room to add another line on his his thing, so we have to figure out how to account for it somehow. Oh, the monochrome's back. So wait, I put it under. I put it under claws or under war Here. mount. Here. Okay. And then the bear armor. All right. See, like the, like right. that. Got it. So now my fate points fall from three to two. Or they stay Your adjusted three. refresh goes from two from three to two. You keep three your three points. Okay. Got it. All right. So, anyways, so Lucy would have dragged. Was it, oh my god! Really? What? There's dancing bears on on Lucy's screen. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why? The bears are invading. <laughs> they're actually standing on their back feet, looking like they're they're doing a ritual dance. They're doing ring around the rosy. Are you? Is that for inspiration? Or was... Just because you were bored. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Well, that was we're perfect. talking about the bear with the white Dude. tips, and a search started. God. <laughs> Wow, All right, I so, don't know how. Okay. But well, now did you like, like, get the Google search for Douchey the Bear? Is that what happened? That's where I went wrong. Douchey the Bear. <laughs> it's gonna, it's going on now. Douchey the Whoa, Bear. What did you? What search did you do? Bear with white around neck. She searched on Bing. Bing. Oh well, you don't search on Bing. So that was your first mistake. That was your first mistake right there. I mean, <laughs> like geez. it takes. Friends place. don't let friends surf don't Bing. Go on a journey with Bing. <laughs> Can Anyways. we add, actually? You know what? This should be this should be the this should be the conversation that we were having in the bar. Yes, is really Lucy's like, looking on her phone. Me... Is looking on her phone, and I'm like, "Are you looking on YouTube about bears dancing? What's going on with you? I... Are you that bored in this bar? I no, haven't I've... seen you in two years. I've missed the bear. Nah. I lost your audio. Right. Said I've missed the bear. Nope, it's gone. It's gone. Both Can anybody else hear us? Siroth has muted himself. 
Yeah, well, try that again. The look of shock and betrayal that they exchanged no right there was that, great. <laughs> you missed the bear. Oh, I missed the bear. Oh, oh, it's right because wait, so Xavier, so Xavier no, is not there either. No, yeah, Xavier's there. No, see what it is is that in my journeys through the Never yes. Never as I was being trained, I found yes. little bear children. You, like actual? Oh. Is it like? Child bears, like bears that were actually just baby bears, or were bear they cubs? actually like not... were they half bear, half children? Don't don't no. don't say the phrase child bears. You're gonna start a new learning channel series. <laughs> <laughs> so roll well, conviction. Okay. Roll wow. Convinc Already. Where's rolling? my conviction? Do uh, I have it? Be, be mediocre. Con conviction. Oh come on! I just upped all of my stats. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still working on that. Wait. <laughs> Is there no, uh... Can, can it be disciplined? I'm to blow smoke in my oh, carry. It made me laugh. Okay, so you have no average spells. Um, well, yeah, I do. Skills? You have There's no average skills. Oh. Spells? You have av no average... You, oh, you literally raised everybody by one. You Okay, so you... I rearranged and I raised and I added... So you need to... Fill out. Destroy for me. Here. There's no. There's no support for any of this. Okay, fine. We'll do that later. Yeah, we'll deal with that. Oh later. yeah. Oh yeah. For those that are out there, when it comes to the Dresden kind of just just because I know people are probably watching and how everything's because we literally just talked about this before we started streaming because I had to do the adjustment as well. Um, there's various skills trees that go in here. We're working off of a 35 point tree. Um, just recently we got upped by the gracious, um, by, by the grace of our DM, uh, decided to raise us up because we, through our experience and our training montage, we got up to 35 points to, to distribute accordingly. So a lot of us had to jack up our skills, uh, to five points. And, but you have to make sure according to the way that everything is structured, you can't have like one skill at superb and then like, or have two skills at superb and then have one at great, you have to work down in like a Yeah, pyramid. it's got to be a pyramid. Exactly. Or, or a column, you just got to have... Or a column, yeah. It's like that... a Ponzi scheme, but for skills. Yeah, reverse You though. get it. Exactly. All right, so are we are we are we just about settled sorting everything out? Are we about good? Or it what's speaks... going on? Oh, wait, so bear children? <laughs> oh, you know, I wouldn't say that they're baby bears and they're not like half human. They're they're fairy, so they're they're. So fairy, children. fairy bears. Barely children. Coming barely children. Barely children. Did you just bears. say barely children? She did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, she did. That's hilarious and, and amazing. <laughs> so in the middle of this wondrous conversation, Dick enters the bar. Hey, and you see y'all standing there. Then. Well, there's quite a gathering of mooks we got over here. If I had known How's you were coming, how are you doing? I know you're coming. I would have. Uh, I would have left. Oh, okay. <laughs> Foxy! What do you, want me you always know just what to say. Hey, you, you know, tough you love. Do. Tough love. How you doing, sir? Oh, doing great. Doing great. I've got a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a conundrum. I figured I'd let you folks in on. There's been a, uh, there's been a bit of a situation, out there in the wider world. There's been a lot of deaths, uh, specifically, of. Uh, Teenagers, young young teenagers, fifteen. In um, uh, in New what? Orleans or Chicago? I know you were in Chicago for a while. Or, there's or been, uh, the there's been uh, rich, there's been what looked to be like ritual killings of fifteen year olds in New Orleans, New York, Las Vegas, Seattle, and they have all been left with the same note. The note the note reads, "Thou shall not let a witch to live." Uh, every, every one? Oh, man. Uh, d do we know how recent or how long this has been going on? Why don't I know about this? Why don't I know about this? As, I'm as waiting the DM for the... Is, as it's the been DM going is on for three years. Right now. <laughs> it's been going on for... There's been a serial killer at large for three years? Yeah, I think everybody heard about this, but... Just in case you haven't, maybe it's been being swept under the rug by police officers that are in the know. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Would sure. it be? Is it? Is it? Is it super? Oh, actually, wait. Jen probably would know. 
but then the details would be for each individual cities, right? So then Jen would kind of know about the tie-in, and then but the individual is like, oh, there's a serial killer in New York. Oh wow, that's horrible. Oh no, there's a serial killer in this and this, or or is it actually because? No, I house? haven't heard anything. I mean, to be fair. A lot of people don't know this, but at any time, there's a good 15 to 20 serial killers working every major city in the United States at any given moment. I have is heard that. Is this you as lazy, or is this you as, as dick? Yes. Okay, <laughs> great. I'll, I'll let you guys know that, and I'm also dropping that little uh, warm, nuggety goodness... Of a, like, of a, of a fact for really. us to really chew over and really, yeah, and really, really contemplate that for a minute. Yeah. But yeah. So how did and he make the connection? Them, most of them don't make the news. It's only the sexy ones that hit the news. You know what I mean? <laughs> what? Oh, the girls? The sexy ones are the only ones you're looking for there. Anyway, so wait, so, uh, you know, Fox, Fox is like, you know, goes up to, to, um, to Dick and it's like, do we know anything about it? Has your contacts known anything as to maybe... Like, you bring it to us, do you know if that person is in New Orleans? Or is that when the... Were the killings just recent, like, was the most recent one here in town? Well, I will tell you what I know about this. As soon as I grab myself a drink and he goes to the bar and he orders himself a scotch on the rocks, he's got a nice vintage, has himself a little sip, gets settled in, you know, takes out a nice, uh, a nice cigar, lights it up. He's enjoying himself a little bit, mulling over the information. It's slowly coming back to him. It wow. takes a moment, you know. Sometimes you just gotta, you know, really, you gotta really compose your thoughts before you discuss something of this gravity. That's really good vamping of you. <laughs> All right, so. Um, so, uh, as Jen, Jen, Jen pulls out, apparently pulled out of her phone, uh, I assume Lucy's pulling out of her phone now to Google this as well. What I'm going to need the from... The was in Seattle, but it was two months Google ago there was one in New Orleans. So, uh, so, Jen, I need you to roll conviction. Is Google Foo a skill? That should be a skill. It's Google Foo. Internet jujitsu. Are you using your phone as well? Yes. I can't Well, put, put conviction here. I move away is from them. Smart wizard. I'm Smart. not. I'm not. I'm over talking to Dick at the bar while they're at the table, over ten feet away from me. Okay. Using their phones. I'm envisioning that at this point the bar has like. In one corner of the bar, like as far away from all the other seats as possible, <laughs> there's a like a little chair. white tape outline on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and it says, it's called the wizard's corner. <laughs> it's the wizard's corner. Foxy's just, just Foxy's Foxy's corner. corner. Because it wouldn't just say wizard's corner, like right Fox's there in the open, but it just says Fox's corner. Fox's it's the Fox's den. Fox's yeah. boy yeah. corner. Yes. Yeah. That's okay. what it is. It's where. So they That's know not Fox to cross. Goes when he's been a bad boy. So he stays there pretty much all the time, you see. Do not use do not use cell phones. Like you know how like certain restaurants and bars are like, do not use your cell phone while online waiting for something. It's yeah. basically the exact same thing, but it's in just this area right by Fox's table. Like Greg has started making you wear a sign like that around your neck, like <laughs> like a leopard. <laughs> Do not use electronic like, equipment around me. <laughs> oh, Masters just wanted me to put in that in that corner, it doesn't have any electrical lights. It's just, it's burning candlelight. It's, <laughs> it's got like a little hurricane lamp, lamp like. Just, <laughs> oh, just the one. <laughs> what am I, what am I crashing? He says no one else is, is allowed this, in that corner. Is this, is this the Christmas story? <laughs> oh, no. All right, so Dick and, Je and Jen do, do have the information is, there's been five murders in, in New Orleans in the last two years. Uh, there's been 15 in Seattle, um, 12 in New York, um, 30 in Las Vegas. Jesus Christ, over the past two years? New Orleans the last two years, the rest of them have been over the last three years. That's still a fucking lot of people, holy yeah, shit. Yeah, this is ridiculous. How do we not know about this? That is a lot. He's been swept under the rug. 
So the new. So, so, but Wait, is how it, is the note news? left? Only the illusion I can find it's is the usually, same one. usually staple to the forehead. Staple to the forehead? Uh. Like literally with a staple gun? Yeah, so the staple gun usually usually where over the uh, the left. Usually so it's carry... stapled right here on the forehead <laughs> where <laughs> Harry Potter's scar is. Hold on. So the killer walks around with a staple gun in his pocket. <laughs> If you ask me, Foxy, it's old Barbara Streisand. She's at it again. <laughs> Wait, is, is... Oh, God. Really? That's bad. Wait, how? Wait, how are you equating that? How does that happen with Barbara Streisand? Oh, Barbara I don't Streisand. know. <laughs> I've, always, I've always had this, like, this this imprint on my, on my psyche of, yes. like, monster Barbara Streisand from South Park. Oh, God. Yeah. And that's just okay, colored my perception of Barbara exactly. Streisand forever. <laughs> oh, yes, I did see that one. Hilarious. Awesome. So, wait, it's been stapled. Do so, okay, when it comes to it, we know that the killer is probably in town. Because you're here, and that means there's something super serious about it. Um, of course, that's the only reason I'd be back. Yeah. Although, you know what, wait, has, is, is... Dick gonna be here permanently, or is it just because he's stationed here? Is that what it is? Well, my office Your is office? here. Yeah. He's asking. Me. I settled. I settled in down in Nolens after uh, after Brooklyn got a little too hot. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, once you once you're dealing with the mob, it can be a problem. All right. So I'm thinking actually that the killer's currently out in Vegas. That's where most of the killings have been. And I feel like that's where we'd have the best chance of catching them in the act and figuring out what the hell is going on. So we I think, you know, we should all get together on a little road trip. Foxy, I have no idea how you're going to go. Oh, I dragging behind that. us. I guess you could, like, hang glide. Well, I mean... Well, mm. you do have... Don't forget you have the deuce. I am driving, the from, deuce. driving from New Orleans all the way over to Las Vegas. Also, you have to never know. Oh, uh, it's true. I Don't forget ashes. about that. Um, Master uh, suggested a train ride with him. Train and, ride would work. Um, well, bullet it's train, though? You get more no, he would, like, a personal car. I don't know what kind of train he didn't say, but... I can probably lead you through the Never Never. I can do that. That's fine. I'm up. That's probably the best bet to go through. Yeah, because all of you guys never... could take could go through the Never Never together. I don't mind that, but at the same time, I don't want to get involved with the people of the Never Never for a little bit. Because in the last time I went, Lucy's in the last time. So Lucy's actually there with us, so I mean, she can probably help with steering us in the right directions when it comes to making yeah, sure we're not. Yeah. Um, remember what happened last time with um, Mab? And Greg? Yeah, I know, but they, she, she's still she's okay. No, Greg, here. We're good. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh. Um. So, uh, so, so we, so we're in. No, so, once we get into Las Vegas, do you I'm know okay we're gonna be able to? Uh, oh, we should probably make. Yeah, we got to get to Las Vegas then. Do we know? Um, are you sure we're going to be able to make sure we can, you know, that that person's going to be there next? See, was there was the next killing? What was there a lead? As to you follow the day? pattern of the killings, if you notice, there's about twice as many killings in, I mean, even three times as many killings in Las Vegas as there are in uh, New Orleans and New York and every other city. And if you look at the pattern, there's a killing in each city and then another killing shortly thereafter in Las Vegas. Were th okay. Can we stay at the Luxor? <laughs> What'd you say? I think we should stay at the Luxor. You want to stay at the Luxor? <laughs> yeah. No. What? My nie my niece and nephew got sick there. Ah. Oh. Okay, sweetie. Someone <laughs> has gotten sick in every inch of Vegas. No, but my my, my niece and nephew were like four. Okay. Every. Well, why single would you bring four-year-olds to Vegas? <laughs> Ask my stepmom and my dad. Okay. <laughs> We're going to blame your stepmom and your dad and just leave Vegas alone. And not the Luxor. <laughs> you know, Las Vegas for the kids. Right. Because it's a family place. I mean, I, I went there when I was like 
17. Okay. Well, that's a little better. Than four. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, boy. It's yeah. time to get your first prostitute. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> well maybe the kids were a little overstimulated. <laughs> Well, see, the what thing is, they have custody over them, so it's not like you can just leave them at home. Yeah. Can we just go there? Anyway, okay, okay, so, um, let's get things back on track. So, you go, okay, so, you guys are, so, um, <laughs> Jen, feel free to make our res reservations at the Lexor. Yes, Jen is doing that, and she is taking a plane. <laughs> I, it would be faster to take the Never Never. Oh, we're up to Never Never Land. Never Never Land, all right. Potentially, never, never you could get is. to Vegas in 15 minutes. Potentially, never, never, never. you could also get there Blue in powder. a month. This is also very true. So we have a, a cool guide, right? You have a couple guides. Yeah, so we should be fine. Are the yeah. guides anybody I have recently attempted to put a bullet into? Did you try try to ride yeah, Fox? I'm part of our group. I think we're okay. I'm sorry. What did you? What? <laughs> Fox is your ride. What? Oh wait, to be able to get through the never never. Yes. Well, we're gonna oh, ride I mean, Fox. Ah, uh, that doesn't sound like a bad dick joke. Re remember, I didn't remember. Dick didn't get to actually go to the never never, so he has oh, no idea what right. any of you are talking about. Through. Oh, that's right. That's right. It's like yeah. I mean, I. We've done it, um, and I've I've been working, so we can actually go into my lab. We should be able to get through there. Yeah, but um, last time I went there, it wasn't of my will, so I have no idea how it really works. It's fine this way. I mean, I've um, it's Lucy's been having to get back and forth, so yeah, me I'm and just Lucy have been actually the... working on portals to be able to get into Never Never uh, in and out. I just, okay, mean, I'm, just I, I, I'm just you... not good for being able to to uh, navigate through. Okay. Um, I just want to say that the last time I got to the Never Never, I was stuck in a box most of the time. And not even aware that I wasn't in Never Never. Well, I mean, with Lucy with, and this is Fox turning to, to, um, to turn to the barrier, like, Lucy's with us. I think it'll be okay. Um, at I'm least sure we could put you in a box again if you'd be more comfortable. <laughs> no. Yeah. No thanks. I don't want it to be a magical box where the only way I'm going to be leaving is if I'm flung out of it because I have no control. So, oh, Greg, so what are the chances that'll happen again? So Greg walks Wait. up and, and starts put, putting a box around... around uh, was around was Xavier room. in a Pokeball? Yes. <laughs> Technically, yeah, he was in, yeah, he was in a Pokeball. We have to on. make that a thing. <laughs> Bet you, I choose you! Did you yes. get your mic up again? Where, where, I choose you! What? <sighs> Is my microphone screwing up again? You're good. Yeah, there you go. Well, it does occasionally, but right now it seems to be okay. Alright, I, I think I, I may just have to keep my distance. How is this? Is this okay? Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. Like, you get over there, microphone, where I can keep an eye on you. All right, so you guys gonna go through right. the Never Never, or are you gonna take take the uh, the take the take the plane? Well, well, this will be fun. I've never been through the Never Never either. Never Never. Well, it's gonna. You be can hold my hand, Xavier. If you get scared. <laughs> yeah. So I, I guess. Never. So you guys are coming through as well. Um, so is Greg yeah. and and Clyde. So basically, everyone's coming through. So uh, Greg is going. It, Greg says, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold the bar down." Oh, so he's staying behind. Have fun with that. Okay. Um, I know a guy who knows a guy that could help. I'll send him. I'll send, I'll have him meet you meet you in Vegas at some point. That's what Greg says. Okay. Right. Uh, heads up, I might lose you guys here shortly. Okay. Do you right. want to? Do you want to? Well, should we maybe have Calliope stay behind for a minute? She'll, but she'll just be dragged along. I'll take care of her. She'll be taken. Okay. Yeah. I trust you guys. We could put her in the Pokeball. Yeah, yeah that'd be kind of cool. Yes, <laughs> put her cool. in the Pokeball instead of me. I'm not in bear <laughs> mode anyway right now. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Um, All right, so Fox, okay, feel free to open up a portal in your in your corner. Yeah, well, are we in the corner? Well, you know what? We can't do it out for all the mundanes because this is a regular bar. So 
Um, Just break your Wobo portal so he can get in already. So, so yeah, Fox actually leads to the back area. He goes into oh, Lucy, the... Lucy, Lucy, Lucy wants to open the portal. Well, I've been Oh, training. you want to do the portal? Yeah, Lucy's gonna open the portal up. Well, I mean, Lucy, I'm... but the others. We can do the portal down. We can do the portal in my in my lab. That... Okay. With with mundane eyes, let's just say they shouldn't really see the portal in this bar. There are going to be like regular henchmen. They're probably going to be in the bar here of Greg's, so we should probably do it in a little bit. So we go. I would suggest going down to the lab that's in the shed. Oh, that's fancy. Um, that way we can kind of have a good base of operation. We'll go down there too. So, um, so basically, is that Fox the Encyclopedia are... Britannica? <laughs> Damn, <laughs> they still print the that in the lab. I know. I mean, you know, you can't learn everything. Um, the so salesman go... was so nice. <laughs> <laughs> so we go down. We, um, I actually do a quick shift. There's actually a staircase that leads down. Hi, Foxy. You bring me friends. I did. Uh, we're here just real briefly. Um, do you oh. want to go for a trip? Uh, I'm always up for a trip, honey. Good. I know. Because we're probably going to. Have you ever been to Vegas? That little podunk town? I guess you have been there. All right. So let's, we're going to be, um. Can I ride with, on her, on Lucy's butt? Uh, it, that's not me to say, um, that butt, butt belongs to yes. Lucy. How big are you? He's in the little Frank. Frank. It's Frank and. It's, it's Frank. Frank. We're, we're talking Frank. about Frank. No, no that's Frank. 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 Frank the censor. Okay, Glamy, you, 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 you're, you're, you're gone. Frank goes. Oh, oh, oh fine. I'll wear you as a necklace, though. Fine. No, oh, I don't want to ride on your butt, or we're ride on fox. Ride with with my little foxy poop. Frank's not an big ass enough man. to hold you. <laughs> Fine, I'll ride with Foxy Poo, and he dives into it. Dives into his frat, into his his, uh, his his thing. Whoa! <laughs> Easy. So it's like, so Lucy, if you want to, you've got the lay of the land. You can set up your where you want to. Good picture. Yeah, but I think what we meant by a uh, thing mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. the sensor. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. 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 I mean, do you want me to uh, help out and maybe help with preparation? I know uh, you're, you're, you've been doing okay, but do you, want me to, do you want me to help you out? Yeah. That you roll, me, though. You want me to that roll. I, maybe that if, I roll. Helped, if I helped with it, can I help with, with giving pluses to her conviction roll? You're opening up a portal. Ooh. She opened okay. up, opened the portal. She gets plus two because that's what she's trained for being a fairy. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Whoa. That's something I should have I neglected to tell you. I'm sorry. I needed you to roll two or better, and you should have had a plus two, plus two for portal opening, closing, because that's what you do. Okay. That's a thing. Okay. So we're going through. Portal opens up. What does it look like? It looks like a, a green slit tear in the atmosphere. Awesome. I guess we're gonna have to go through. Hey, uh, Dick, you ready to go through? Yeah, let's do this thing. Alright, yeah. so I go through. I think we all go through. What do I see? Whoa! Oh, this you are! Uh, so, as soon as Lucy steps steps through, she, fi she senses that she needs to duck. Duck! And I dive down. Dies down just as a shell explodes over her over where her head was. A shell, what? as in like a mortar shell. Yes. Uh, no. How <laughs> close were the rest of us to that shell? You were you were far, you guys had enough time to duck to duck. Good. Okay. Yeah. What the um, hell? In response to that mortar shell, I'll start shifting into bear form. So. But if you look around, you look like you're you, you're storming the beaches of Normandy here. Fuck! What? Wait, we're on a beach and there's explosions it's and like warfare happening right now. Yes. We're, hold on, we're experiencing D-Day right now. Yes. Holy shit! You know what oh. the iron the ironic part is? 
What? Foxy and Dick were probably at like D Day. Yeah. We probably, we probably <laughs> were. Yes, you, I would say you were. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, it's D-Day all over again. God damn it, Foxy. We already fought this once. Come on, you remember how it went. <laughs> what are we... Wait, why are we back... Wait, What's literally, going on? Literally, as soon as that happens, Fox turns to Dick and is like, Why are we back in Normandy? What's going on? I don't know, man. It's, it's... <laughs> Look, do you... Hey, do you think we should warn uh, McGinty the duck? <laughs> 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 okay, I Fox, Fox turns and just is like shakes his head, turns back, tries to see where the mortar was coming from. Is there people around us? Is there literally we're on a beach and there's people around us, or is it just it's beach us and then a random mortar came from like trees nearby? Is that what ended up happening? What was that? Sorry. How was it set up for the scene? Is there actual? Is there actual soldiers around? No, like, are we actually like it... in the middle of the D-Day invasion? There, or there just appears like a to be soldiers, piece? soldiers around you, charging, charging a hill. Okay, is there? Do we have a visual for this? Because I kind of want to like understand what's Give me going a second. on. Yeah, I think we need. A, I think we're gonna need a visual. Hold on, googling Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> Make sure you don't look up Saving Ryan's privates. That's a different uh, dang, all right, all right, too late. <laughs> it's actually shaving, shaving Ryan's privates. You're missing a letter. Fox, are you sure that this was the portal to the Never Never, or, uh... I'm not the one who actually put, made the portal, I don't know. Hey, was... Fox, how could you never check to see what was on the other side of your lab? What do you mean? I mean, it's not like me opening it changes what's there, it's the location. Oh, I mean, we, I, I mean, how did I know that was? How did you not know to try it? You've got to see what's beside your house, man. I, I've been busy. <laughs> I mean, right. look, I've been, I, I've been, right, look, I've, I mean, I've, I've been training, confused. I've been training with Shiro all this Hype time. Hide down with your excuses and run after me. I'll take you to the next turn in the Never Never. Okay, let's go. And this, is not, this is not, not <laughs> great. Look, I'm just looking at her invisible computer in next to her, like, WTF. <laughs> <laughs> Do you uh, actually don't, seem don't worry, strangely Jim. excited to be back in the middle of D-Day? <laughs> like, apparently you get the Jim? impression that he had a hell of a good time. You, the, the, the spot <laughs> is on the other side of the, uh, the, the uh, hill. Okay. The hill. It's on Actually, the hill. I think that's our amphibious craft over there. Ah... I never want to see one of those ever again. You know how I hate those things. They're too cramped. You know, he start going. And he starts running after. He starts running after, and we keep on going. Dick, hey. Dick pauses for a Look. moment and goes, "Oh, memories!" And then he takes off after the group. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I'm I'm still a bear. All right, I want Dick everybody to gather around me very tight and right. walk with me. Quickly, but stay in a tight group, okay? Ah, whatever you say, honey. <laughs> this isn't a class trip. There are mortars. There are mortars exploding all over us. Let's go. Jen squeezes up with everybody, but she says, um, "I don't think they're real." Yeah, have you have you noticed something uh, weird about yeah. these uh, these soldiers, yeah. Foxy? Yes. They 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 kind of look you a little strange. Open. You're still in the but you still displace the water. What do you, um, wait, okay. what do you mean? Uh, I'm pretty yeah. sure they're all fairies. This is a, this isn't, wait, why are they dressed up like Normandy soldiers? Alright, guys? I don't know, maybe it was a slow weekend. Uh, I... Alright, guys, oh. you hear you're not ah! veiled, so don't talk. Or you what? will reveal it. You're I've, invisible. I've hidden you. No, I know. That's technically what Fox would have done. <laughs> you hear you, you hear a blood curdling scream, and um, on the beach there's a massive explosion as body parts go flying. I just continue to push the group forward. <laughs> Keep moving. Stay close, everybody. Don't touch anything. No pictures. Let's go. Don't you see my comment? Jen's. Uh... Keeping up with everybody, kind of watching what's going on, but she also keeps glancing to the side with 
some concern at nothing. Uh, so, at this point, I'm trying to go here, but they're charging this way. I'm trying yes. to fight back my yes. urge to just okay. crush your course and just snob on it, because it, it has been probably a year and a half where I've been pretty much just a bear. Can I, can I just hold everybody back and let them go forward so that the water stays still? You're still displacing what? the water. Oh, okay. So, uh, Miss Summers is starting to drift drift away from you all. I grabbed she... her. And I pulled her close. She's she's kind of kind of kind of wiping her mouth a little bit. I'm well, uh, she's a lost cause. Know, Let's get going, that, that everybody. Draft thing. I, I am here. Yeah. I plug her nose. Yep. You cover her. On... Yes. All right. So Miss Summers now has her fate. Her. Her nose plugged and her mouth covered a no, little bit. I didn't bit. say cover her mouth. Just like oh, nose plugged or being being like, oh, come on, gotta keep moving. <laughs> and everybody jog. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so uh, alertness roll from everybody. Yep. Okay. Right. Yes, ma'am. Yes, uh, sir. I'm glad he. I'm glad alertness is up to great now. <laughs> And I got That's such a good roll. Dick's thinking about how uh, his newfound responsibilities to the man upstairs coincide with not taking out the Nazis. Wait, so wait, am I getting plus one to rolls across the board because of the sword? No. You're not using the sword. Okay. It's just general. It's just so that, what would the plus ones from the sword if be? If you have the sword out, then you would, you would get plus one to, to activities with the sword. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Activities. So, yes. I like that. I like that phrasing. Activities. So, um... There's so much room for activities. Badminton. So both <laughs> both uh, Jen and Lucy shove everybody into the water mm. as gunfire erupts above their heads. While Dick, Dick is trying to not join the invasion. And uh, Peter Crayon, thank you for that host. I do appreciate that. It is definitely a good day to die. <laughs> if you don't know who Peter is, he plays a lot of XCOM, so go give him a follow. Oh, right oh, on. Oh, another XCOMer, huh? Oh, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Uh. All right, so <laughs> feel free to... So as you guys lift your heads back up, the gunfire subsides and, and now is going back towards the uh, the, the landing craft. When you say that Dick is trying not to join the situation, is he, like, inherently being drawn into trying to be involved in the fight? Like, without his will kind of thing? Or is it just because he's just enthralled by it? Yes. It's it's because it's a combination of things. For one thing, um, he felt pretty passionately. Um, not at the time, mind you. I mean, he had a hell of a good time, don't get me wrong. But after finding out after the invasion what had been going on he was he wasn't very pleased with what the nazis were doing so he felt very strongly about having been part of the fight to get rid of them and now he's got this sort of god and he's been training for the last two years getting closer to the to the christian god and those ideals and he's having a really hard time accepting letting like not going and snuffing out the nazis when he's got another chance to go get them Okay, so okay, so it's a combination of a, a whole bunch of different things for him to, to really want to be part of it, as opposed to ignore the group. Yeah. Right. Okay. In this case, the Nazaris. <laughs> yes, because yes, the not, Summers is not, very not interested in it. More so than human blood. And you guys know what she does around fairy blood. She wants she goes to crazy. Oh, a little cuckoo. <laughs> Alright, so you guys finally managed to get up to the, get up to the beach. <laughs> and you're drenched in sands in your boots. Um, are, we, are we at the next location? You made it to um, here. And it's where? It's here. Oh, by the smoke and fire. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we have to actually go up the hill. Yeah, you're here. So maybe we do have to. So we basically do have to take part in the evasion. Maybe. Oh, then we can just charge in. <laughs> so is there? Wait, hold on. So there's. Are we're still we're still stealth though? 
we're still veiled? Yes. Yeah. Yes. But I mean, we'll cause footprints on the sand. Yes, but we still need, so we need to get from here to where, you so, see, you pinged where the fire was. Is that where we are right now? You're this is where we need to be. You're here. You just came ashore right here. Okay. And you gotta go here. It's about 400 feet. So are there a group of soldiers possibly in front of us? Or that we could just follow? The, so that our footprints aren't quite as obvious? There's a lot of footprints around. There's dead bodies. There's probably about 400 dead bodies just immediately in front of you. Okay, so... Do you I want mean, me to roll this one? Yes. Is there... Since there is gunfire and explosions... Um... Of various sorts, I'm taking it that there is actually. You know what? There's is there's a direct route. There's actually you said there's soldiers to on either side of us. Is that yeah. what you said? And there's there's a group of soldiers c continually charging the the hill, and they're getting mowed down by gunfire, but they are pushing through. Is there any type of cover for us to go through? Is it like there's is, what you see so, is what I mean, you get? Is there a bunker on our left side? Uh, is that what up, that is? Up here. And what's the building to the left? This building? Yeah. That's the that's the that's where the machine gun fire is coming from. That's a bunker. Yep. So there's a bunker here and then there's a separate bunker on the right side closer to the sandbags? Literally everything in front of us has stuff poking out of it that's trying to kill us. So we need. So we're veiled. We can't be seen, but we're in the line of fire. Where is the? So, is there a way to skirt the field? Can we go around somehow? Like um, that's the, is that the? Is that the pathway to get up to where we need to go to? That would be the easiest pathway. Yes. <sighs> well, what's, vis there. what's visibility right now? What you? For, it's it's early dawn. It's early dawn right now? Yes. They can't see us anyway, so I, I, there's no need for me to, to smoke out the area. Guys, Although, I sense something ahead of us. Something real strong. Something doesn't us. feel right here. I was about to say, like a smell? Because it <laughs> would smell. I wouldn't really say a smell. More like a feeling. Fox stops, grabs onto his sword, and holds onto his cane at the same time, just in case. Um, I ready my sword as well. So I ready my claws. Because I, I have been a bear this entire time. You sense a power even beyond map. Is our cloak now broken? No, you're still cloaked. Okay. I have a bad feeling about this. Guys, this is the strongest thing I've ever felt. Should we go back? We could just go back and I could, um, we could go to a different place with, that I know what's on the other side of the Never Never and we can get there that way. Works for me. Yeah, it might be a good idea. Snacks. Yeah. Does that place have snacks? Fall back! Retreat! Whichever way you guys want to, I didn't realize this was here. How did I know this was going to be here? I don't travel to the Never Never all the time. I'm busy studying. You, got, you gotta check your neighbors, man. Yeah, yeah you gotta. Just... Not now. Let's talk about this later. We don't want... I'm the see Fox Cray. Let's talk about this later. We can't do this. Right. He's right. running like he's, like he's going on. Right. Right. Back so... into the water. Swim back to okay, the Okay, so Kabuki, I need you to... Roll alertness minus one. Alertness mi minus one? Yep. Okay. Uh, That's only Kabuki? Yes. yes. Right. Wow. Okay. So you see a soldier lifting his gun and pointing it right at you. Oh, shit. Okay. Um... Pointing it right at me? Right at your chest. Shit. Uh, fuck. Uh, uh, As you're uh, shouting. 
As I'm shouting. Oh, as I'm shouting. Yes. Do I? Do oh, I because this? I asked. Fuck! I just broke the. Vo I just broke vocal silence. Shit! Do I Son this? of a bitch. Um, are you? Do you? Why is this roll that? Oh. Well, before before you said that though, so let me reroll. Do I know if I do any type of magic that I would end up breaking veil? Mister Roth does. Lucy does see it, and she also gets senses that these beings are evil beings. I'm going to shoot it. Because I... I figure I can break the cone of silence that way because there's gunshots all, all, everywhere. all around us. <laughs> Alright. Um, Fox... Oh, God damn it. Can I... Yeah, don't worry. You can, you can stab him. <laughs> Well, the thing is, though, is like, he's, going, he's going for a shot. I need to dodge. I need to dodge out of that way before the shot ends up happening. So Lucy I goes... shoot around you. I, I wouldn't shoot through your head. No, not you, but, I mean, he's going oh, for okay, a shot yeah, towards okay. my chest. All right, so Lucy shoots shoots at the guy, which makes him kind of do dive a little bit. She misses, but uh, the veil is broken, and more and several soldiers start running towards you. Well, they start running towards us? Yes. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here, you guys. Now are these are these allied soldiers rushing us or Nazis? Nazis. Nazis are down on the beach. Well, I don't think Dick's going to be able to resist his impulses any further. Um, start killing some I'm, Nazis now. At this point, I'm just... I look, I see people charging at me, and say Dick's over, charge back. Would would Dick be, still be able to fall back as he fights? If he chooses, call it a strategic he, advance to the rear. Yes, he could if he if he has enough mental conviction, mental discipline to do so. so All right, so I opt not to. I opt not to use my sword, and instead retrieve my. Uh, my my Thompson from under my my trench coat and open fire at them as they come at us. So I guess I'll roll that and I'll and we'll keep I'll shoot and scoot. I guess or, should, or do I need to roll to keep my wits about me and keep re, keep moving back? Roll discipline and then roll well roll guns and then roll discipline to scoot back. All right. So how are we? You charge. Dick, Dick starts charging. Wait, that was your guns well, roll. That was Sorry. that was my guns roll. That was my I don't I don't have discipline. <laughs> <laughs> How do I not have discipline? Wait, I thought you fixed that. Up. Why am I not surprised that Dick has no discipline? <laughs> this is the no. guy who walked uh, away with, Dick. A, with a white court vampire and decided to stup her in the middle of an arena. Stabbed her I repeatedly. I told you, I stabbed her. So Dick starts charging, charging the charging the 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 Nazis. Can, can I and, and he starts him, calling out. Get him out of the way. He starts acting like he's in, he's he's the captain in charge, like he was back in Normandy. <laughs> All right, Strike. who made you um, captain? Wait, he's too busy being awesome and kicking Nazi ass to hear you. Okay, so Fox turns around, sees Dick going. Oh no, Dick, get over here. <laughs> This is Get not the time. Could yeah, I... dicky, 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 dicky. So wait, so, so Dick is Dick is running towards him, right? And running towards the towards the group, running away from us towards the towards the the the, the, the Nazis. Of... The, the you, Nazi you, squad. You hear a, 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 a yell. Get me the sword and the fairy lady. Where'd that come right. from? Right, I think now we need. Right. Um, yeah, we need to, so, go. Kind of alertness, kind we need to go. I'm gonna go. From. Yes. We need to go. Um, I'm going to charge after. Um, I'm gonna try and get um, our good like old that. friend, the PI, back under. Well, back with us. Right there. Come on, just say it. Yep. You're gonna go get the D. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna go get the dick. Come on, you know you want it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who else has a gun? No, I'm not falling for this, sir. Who else has a gun? Yeah. I don't. I'm not. I'm not a gun person. 
Does you know, any... you think I'd start carrying one around. <laughs> Does anybody else have a gun? No. Only dick. No, Jen, our claws and our taser. All right, so I'm gonna say to Fox and Jen, whatever you got, point it at the hole in the bunker because that's where it's coming from. And I'm gonna open fire. Um. Okay. So, so do I need to roll something to try and basically get a uh, dick to snap out of it? Um, give me, um... Do I have permission to lick some of this blood on the ground? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wow. Sure, uh, God, it's either oh Rapport or uh, Empathy. Drinking the bloody water. Wait, in my case? Man. For, you, for you, Xavier. Yes. For Xavier. Yeah. It's in their what? It's Rapport, rapport or, or Empathy. empathy. I'm legit asking the group if they're okay with me drinking well, a little bit of blood. Legit, um, yes. I, Go for it, Chica. I am. I honestly missed the first one. I know it was empathy. What was report? Report. report. It, it would. It would read rapport. Report. Right. If you have neither, so, then it's a mediocre role. The T is silent because it's a French word, and French people are weird. <laughs> All right. So so Calliope starts like, starts drinking the blood on, on there and. She's 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 enjoying like, sand in her I'm mouth. Sure I am a bear, so my empathy roll is mine. Well, has a bonus of minus two because I'm a bear. Yep. <laughs> so I don't get. So I don't snap him out of it. He's really just gonna see this random bear. You start char. You you charge with him to protect him. And right. And so uh, Miss Summers lifts her head up and off the ground and. There's a sand cake to her mouth this... and blood on, dripping from her, from her lips. Do I effect on the Nazis? I mean, they are effectively seeing an unarmored up bear charging towards them. Are there fairies, though? I, I know they're fairies, but it doesn't matter what it is. This is a golden opportunity to rally the allied troops. Yes. <laughs> 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 okay. Even the bears on your side. They charge with us. Charge! <laughs> All right, so um, you come up to a squad of three, three, three Nazis, and they bring the guns up and go, "Drop the sword!" The sword is currently holstered, so no. Smart. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, or we'll open fire. I'm already shooting oh. at them. Yeah, I. I... <laughs> the two to shoot at the um, um bunker. I try your, your shots ping off the bunker. Okay. And the guy one the guy, the guy that's getting yelled at, his head goes and fall he and he falls on the ground because he's a ricochet in the back of his head. Awesome. Oh, I'm quick question, again. Sarah. Yes. My guns my gun skill is merely good, but my weapon skill is superb. <laughs> what if I started using my Tommy gun like a club? Then you would use superb. <laughs> you would get superb. Excellent. So I'm gonna start swinging on them with my Tommy gun. <laughs> and I start trying to pull their feet, and I so, join in and, sh and I start swinging my claws, which I guess would be a fist. Yes. So, um, Lucy puts a bullet in one of the guy's shoulders, and he drops to the ground, screaming, "It's fucking iron!" That's right, bitch. <laughs> Why do these Nazis have Irish, Irish accents? <laughs> I'm confused. I thought the Irish were neutral. <laughs> what are they doing in Normandy? What's going on? When have the Irish ever been neutral? <laughs> in World War II, they were. Yeah. Because uh, England said, hey, Irish, come fight with us. And the Irish went, feck off, mate. <laughs> 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 oh God. All right. So wait, the person that got hit and got dropped to the ground is in the bunker that we. No, they're direct. That? It's right here. Okay, so it's right there. Yeah, mm -hmm. you got about two hundred feet to go to go up the, up the bunker. So are we going towards? Are we supposed? Are we going towards it? Or are we retreating to where we came? No, Dick decided to fight. So now we're going forward. Oh, fuck. 
Sure. So I just exactly. rolled a seven on my Tommy gun club. Dick, dick is yeah, yeah, club. Yeah, yeah, Tommy you, club. You, you rolled it. Oh, so is, did that? Uh, did I? Did I break a Nazi skull or what? You did. Yeah. Woo! Victory. Did I break anything? And oh, six. Yes, you guys jumped the same guy, and as you, as you as you <laughs> rip the 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 Nazi apart, some orange lights start coming out of it and go back towards the bunker. Wait a minute. Oh. Where's? Fuck, Can where's I eat guy? the corpse? Can I eat the corpse? Because I'm getting where's kind of hungry. My butt riding guy? Yeah. Oh, you mean, oh, you mean, Frank. uh, Frank. 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 Yeah. Frank! Frank is, Frank, Frank is, Frank, Frank is, is, is actually hanging from my belt right now. Yeah, but the orange lights came from out of there. Out of the bunker? It came yeah. from the corpse. Right? Which yes. I want to eat they right now. The or the corpse? They came from the corpse heading towards corpse. the bunker. Permission to eat the Nazi corpse. Okay, that's not good. We gotta stop that. Can you- Because Bear is hungry. To be able Bears. to make sure Bears. that the that the to make sure that the energy goes doesn't go back to the to the bunker. Yes. Can I start throwing stuff wait, to wait, where wait. the lights disappeared? I, I kind of need context. What's what's the reason why we're we're preventing the? Uh, because because uh, Frank, who is a spirit of intellect, when he yes. comes out of his protect whatever he's inside, yeah. it's orange light. So He's right, the, boss. She's right. If the orange light that came out of that corpse is headed towards the center of the thing that is trying to murder us, it could gain a lot of knowledge that we don't want it to have, whoever's trying to kill us. So it'd be good if you could stop that from happening. The idea of being able to prevent the, the, the spirits going Miss, back Miss into Lee the bunker? Basically siphoning yes. the intellect. That should be going to the bunker and giving it to Frank instead. We're basically there, using Frank to intercept. Is there a the way energy. of being able to to bear? Is the, I don't know if there's anything I can do to bear your spirit. I can try shield. to I can try to go capture them. Frank pipes out to grab the spirits that end up going. Frank. Yeah. Frank, what would happen? Do I have your permission to leave this vessel to do so? Wait, Frank, what would happen if you fail? They get apart from me. Okay, maybe not. To maybe not to. Well, if Frank fails, if he doesn't capture them, they take a part of Frank. Oh, when well, that's not a good idea, then. No. Yeah. No. I don't. I'm not Frank, really good when it comes to spirit magic. When it comes to elemental. Frank, is there I'm anything that Fox this. can do to prevent those spirits from getting there? No. Okay. I mean, anything the only I thing do? we can... I still haven't there... been told if I can eat the corpse. Is there anything that Jen's ghosty friends could do? No. Okay. Actually, Jen, can you do me a favor? We need to... Can, can, do you know if any of your friends could get over to the bunker and do some recon for us? Probably. Uh, Jennifer, okay. Oh wait, because you mean, you mean... that's what Fox because Fox uses that term all the time because he's totally <laughs> CIA. Can you do like it? Hey, J hey Jen, do you know if any of your friends can find out what's going on in that bunker? We could, but it's probably not a good idea. All right. Well, the Breakfast Club is talking this over. I'm moving on to the next squad of Nazis. <laughs> And me along with. Him. I think we really need to just get him back, and we need to leave. <laughs> so, um, oh, you mean... can can I go after him and like physically drag him back? Sure. So give me a lurkers rolls. Who? Who? Everybody. I should say. Everybody. Yep. Okay. Everybody, Everybody alert. Everybody. I'm not that alert. Oh. Thank I... I'm in battle rage right now. This is going down. Shit. Even up at the... God. Uh, really bad numbers. Something happened. <laughs> Alright, so... Lucy is the only one that notices... The... Orange gentleman that's walking up... That appeared on the battlefield. He's orange? He appears to be made out of molten ma magma. He's about eight oh, feet liquid feet tall. Liquid hot magma. And he appears to be walking from corpse to corpse. Is walking it, towards you. 
Is he taking something from the corpses? He's holding his hands over the corpses. As, like, hands out, 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 as he, hand off to the side as he walks past and he, and. Would I recognize And you see it out of the corner of your eye. Be familiar? Have I seen, ever seen anything like it? No. Am I rather fearful? This appears, this would be the, this is the power you felt. Am I particularly scared? Um. Yeah, uh, do I get a um? Uh, do I get a little tip I from my goddess to tell me know. whether or not I should mess with him? Mm -hmm. Wait, so wait, guy you you're asking whether or not your goddess you that your link with your goddess would have given you some sort of heads up as to whether or not should, we should be fighting him. Is there anything we shouldn't? Is that a is that a a, a lore roll for guy? Uh, well, I feel like as far as we know, he doesn't notice them yet. Right. We're leaving. We're leaving. Because <laughs> Archie tells we need me to, to we run. Need to, we need to grab. We need to grab. We need, we need to grab Dick. <laughs> You're damn right you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. I'll grab Dick. Yeah, for you. you do. You got. You got. You got to grab Dick. Yeah, I'm not doing hard that and fast. I ain't well, we're gonna, gonna, gonna be there. in big trouble. It's gonna be all over the place if we don't. <laughs> I, All I right, so right as you here. make up your mind to finally give in to your more most base urges <laughs> and grab hold of that dick with both hands, hands and pull. he suddenly has pull him out of the situation. A of, he has a moment of clarity. His head whips around, he focuses on the guy, and he shouts, Outsider, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> 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 Uh, all right. Since we did, <laughs> since we did alertness, a question for you. Okay. If we did alertness, if we did alertness, should are we going in particular orders according to how things are being done, or was that just to find out? That are was we, just to see if you noticed the 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 outsider. Okay, I I would like to. I know Dick's gonna hate me to do it. I'm gonna try to do a a force pull on him to grab, literally do a grab on him. Do we grab him? Yes. Bear turns still and runs. Oh, he's Bear already, he's back he's back already heading back towards you guys. Like, oh, is he? Is he already heading towards us? Like, he he received he got one of his divine communications. It cut through the fog. So, so, he's, so aware, he's, he's now so, aware so of he, what's going on. Okay, so then we we're booking. Oh, I'm booking. To get the fuck out! It wasn't to the outsider. It was to tell us tell us to get out. So then we're booking for it to the portal that we originally, I'm, I, at least Fox is, to, but still keeping an eye on, on yeah. that, that figure that was behind us. I think I'm, I think I'm looking running as fast as my Looking over his shoulder as, as he's burning. literally booking for it. Give me athletics rolls. Oh, God. Oh, thank God I've been oh, working out. It's plus two in my fairy blood, idea. right? Yes. Thank God I've been working out. So Lucy zero. gets to the water line. Miss Summers gets to the portal location. Zave guy picks up, trips and falls into, into Lucy's uh, butt. Oh, and I, I'm not. Yeah, I'm just having a. Hard yeah, you, you guys. Shit. The rest of you guys make it to the to the water line. Is that and, a thought? And at, a moment or two later, you guys, the, the 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 giant orange thing just keeps stopping towards you slowly and laughing, and he goes. I shall have you. I, I shall have your death. Check check your Twitch messages really quick, Zero. I had an idea. You did it to Twitch? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so while he's running back towards the the rest of the party dick spots um a fallen radio man an allied radio man and he grabs the radio and he still remembers the codes because he remember like d-day is not something that you ever really get out of your head okay he grabs the radio and he starts you know rattling off all this military code from back in the day and he calls in an airstrike on the outsider's location Oh shit! Nice. Is you, that our 
That's one way to buy us some time. You hear, Maybe, yeah. Roger, stand by for fire for effect. All right, we keep running. Fire for oh, effect. Yes. Firing for effect. <laughs> we're running through. Well, I'm yes. We're running. I'm running. As yes. you guys, yeah. as as you guys keep going, you see four dragons come down over the sky over over the skyline, and flame erupts onto the beach behind you. Ah! Run away! Run away. Run away. Oh, the outsider is engulfed in flame from the four dragons. How close are we? But does it buy feet. us time? Yes, the outsider appears to stop. <laughs> Excellent. Pull through, so pull through that yeah, portal. You guys can go ahead and get into there. <laughs> yes. You guys that, can make it to the portal. Are you guys opening, up, me a, fate opening point? a portal to get back to Fox's lap? Do I do I finally earn a fate point? <laughs> yes, you do get a fate point. Yay! I Congratulations. Know what the <laughs> fuck was that? So wait, Sometimes are we... being a World War II so... nerd comes in handy. <laughs> All right, so out of five, you go cut, and you are able to dive through. And as you as you open it up, Calliope falls right through because you because you because you opened it right in front of her face. Okay, come on. Ow, guys! Let's go! 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 I, I oh. try to pick her up so people don't run on top of her. Oh, she's she fell through the portal. But as everyone goes through the oh, portal. Okay. He's Dick's running up behind all you guys, shouting five by five, go 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you guys make it back out to uh, Fox's lab, closing the portal as soon as possible. Lucy, please. Done. Oh no! Oh hi! Wait, are we? Ah! I was like, I was like, are we back at the bar? I was Rob gonna say, I don't think we ordered a stripper. Like, <laughs> who was that guy? Wrong bar. Bob. That was Fox's That's friend. Bob. That, that was, was other, Bob. That was that. That was Bob's. That was Bob's place. I was like, wow, would you open a portal to Bob's? How the hell did that happen? Um, Why not? I is it neutral Bob now? It's, no, it's neutral. Kind of, you know, oh. Mm. Uh, so I so I turned to Dick and I was like, what the hell? Was that? What? Well, what was what? Those? What? What? Your? Were those friends of yours? Uh, well, I mean, I mean, whenever you're in a situation like that, you're bound to have uh, equivalencies, right? They these they, they weren't actually the Allied forces. No, the those were big giant really, lizards that I haven't we were... seen for a really long time, Dick. What? Those are big giant lizards I haven't seen in a really long time, Dick. Who well, I I didn't I I mean you heard me. You heard the codes. You know the codes the same as I do. But did you hear me say send in the dragons? No, I called for an airstrike. That's what they sent. Well, like, that would be what a fairy airstrike is. I, I what I think we just witnessed was a fairy war and it ended up being represented as the uh it, it ended needed. up being represented in a way that our brains could handle it. So I that war it. was most closely representing yeah, the storming of Normandy during D-Day. That's crazy. That's, let's ne let's Fox let us pops never... up and goes, ah, he's right, you know. That that was the very representation of, of a very major battle going on there. And who is, that, wait, who is this? That's, that's Frank. That's Frank? Okay. And, yeah, guys, uh, it sounded like you said Fox. Yeah, I misspoke. Okay, and he's like, that's wrong now. Wait. Exactly. So it's repeating. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 PM to go to someone else. Um, so, Fox. What PM? Hmm? You sent me a PM uh, saying yes, with no way, and then yes. I don't think that I was meant for me. I don't know why you're I'm... getting them, because I'm setting, because Lucy's getting them. Wow. Wow. That's. Hmm. Okay. Hey, hey, Fox. Yes. Now, when you said that your lab would be a great place, out of the way place, for me to open up a way through the Never Never, I'm not accusing you. Not accusing you. I'm just saying I assumed that you knew it was on the other side. 
Because no, the way no, when it comes to it, I just wanted to make sure we were in open. We we didn't try anything out in the open with everybody that does not know. Okay, so so you know the way that the never never works is that it it's sort of a, a like for like feel on a place, and yep. what you go through. You look, you just, you have to know what's on the other side, otherwise you take a risk. So what I'm saying is I know a spot where we can get from New Orleans to Vegas safely without, like, running into the middle of a battle. All right, then let's go for it. I just want to make sure we had some place nearby that we can take care of, but if you know some place better, then you go for it. I trust you on this. You, you're you the one who knows about portals better than I do. I would say let's go to a place I've been not recently, like today, but a place I know. Okay, let's go. I mean, at least I, I mean, is everybody okay? Is nobody singed? Did nobody okay. get hurt? Everybody ready for No, I'm fine. I'm just a little low. Okay. Okay. Enough, but I'm here. So we start heading out the. I guess we're starting out the door right now. I wish I got to taste corpse. Yeah, just, um, we're what? gonna go to the bar. Hey, um, hey, uh, boss man. Which one? Oh, to me. Oh, you're. This is Frank. Um, you do know who that orange guy was, right? Um. Uh, he was an outsider. Not necessarily. So outsiders are beings beyond the universe that are trying to get in to destroy it. That would explain why I was being told to run. Well, okay, so, I say that so after it's shifted back. That seems... Oh, I've never seen one before, Frank. M most don't, and most... Although, I'm pretty sure that was he who walks in the shadow of death. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. Oh, that one. Do they always feel so The outsider we were warned of. Yeah. His head's going to look real good mounted on my wall. There, there, there's a, also he who walks behind, he who walks before. Those are also known demon outsider type people. Um. So basically what you're telling me is I should probably move my left. No, you probably should. I'll, I'll, when you get back, we'll, run, we'll do a portal to, we'll do a ritual to seal the to prevent the never never from being opened there, from the That's... the other side. All right. Although, I've... although I, I believe the Lenanchi could help you with that as well. Oh really? Oh, you could do it. There's no reason to call someone else. Well, the Lenanchi is much better at it than I am. She taught me what I know. I, I'm just putting my two cents here in Fox. I think I think we don't need need the uh, a high ranking winter fairy to call and ask a favor of oh uh, you could also ask mab again same That's statement even worse oh titania um she's still a high ranking fairy although of the summer court you're right it's you could ask lily she might help you well how come you why can't we ask you because it's complicated and i stuff. Are you lazy? I was known as the lazy general back in my day. <laughs> <laughs> and there I was. Minding my own fucking business. <laughs> and then it happened. <laughs> Holy shit, this is just a weird dyka I don't know how that's gonna happen. Are you gonna start playing two characters now? <laughs> There goes the fourth wall. It's gone. It's gone. Perfect. <laughs> we gotta go. We got. We got places to be and places to go. Let's go, Lucy. We gotta. We gotta find out where are we supposed to be going. Where is this portal that you're supposed to? Where is this place? It's, it's When's right, our check-in time? It's right across the parking lot in the bar. This entire time, you, we could have gone to that place, and you and you were okay with me taking you guys down to the lab. I'm sorry, I thought you were confident. <laughs> We've all made that mistake, but only usually once. Yeah, I won't do it again. Okay, great. <laughs> just go, and uh, and and Fox just like 
like knocks on the bar and he puts a shot in front of him and he grabs it on the way out of the bar. <laughs> so Poor Fox, she she leads you to your your this is the Fox zone. Do not bring electronics in here. Oh, she actually is grabbing me over to the where the Fox zone is? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> You see, Why you so see stressed? Fox, you see Fox just kind of go, he just kind of looks around, looks at the, and then just kind of shakes his head and doesn't say anything. You just see him just shaking his head and just puffing on his pipe and he's, and like, he, like, you know, the way that he's puffing on his pipe, it's just this, 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 like his natural instinct of frustration <laughs> and just like, you know, this, he's not saying a thing, and when he's not saying a thing, you know, there's that he's not exactly in the best moods. <laughs> so, so uh, Greg looks up, looks up from the bar as he's cleaning, cleaning, clean, cleaning. It goes, "You guys back from Vegas already? That was like, you were gone for like an hour." I don't think Fox no, man, talk fucking about Nazis. It. Nazis. Nazis. What Nazis? Yeah. Not now. Nazis. 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 Not now. Let's not talk about this show now. Up when you don't want uh, is anyone looking? <laughs> no. Four. Now what? Oh, yes. oh, you're trying to make sure that nobody's watching the. Yeah. Yeah. There's nobody really. There's nobody in the, the bar except for the employees who you know, you know are aware of it. Okay. It's like nine o'clock in the morning. Okay. All right. Holy shit! It's early. So, I'm gonna open a way into the never never. Oh, you split it. You just go. <sighs> With the gesture of your hand, not even ritual, just like you just rip the door, rip, rip, open the door. See on the flip side, Greg. Peace, bitches. <laughs> and I hop through. I grab a bottle of the old Drambuli Blue on my way out. Hey! <laughs> I'll charge you for that one. Put it on Fox's tab. He said he'd get it. <laughs> as he, as 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 Fox is standing out here. He watches. He watches Dick go through. He turns back, and he like. He, okay, here's the deal. You watch. This is the scene. You watch everyone start walking through. Everyone goes through. Fox is the last person behind. He turns, breaks fourth wall, looks at the screen at you, and then turns, goes through the portal afterwards. He pulls the gym from the office. Yeah, he just turns. It's like he's just like. He, he literally goes turns and goes. And then goes around and then keeps on going. <laughs> so you guys step into a, a field of flowers. Oh, this tastes much better. They're not Nazi flowers, are they? No. They <laughs> seem to really turn into a bear. All right, just a point here. It doesn't matter what's going on. Be very aware and cautious in the never never. And so I, I, I oh, I do an alertness roll. Right now. <laughs> yep, that's what's happening. She's like, alertness, alertness, alertness. Right. Do we know what flowers these are, by the way? Apparently, I'm already into the Drambuie. What kind, so. what kind, what kind so of flower? Dick, like, Dick wants, reaches down to, to smell a flower. Don't don't oh pick anything. Leave that's not a have. very Dick-like behavior, just saying. I turn into a bear. It, the, He's the, not the, a stop and smell the flowers kind of guy. No, but the rest of him's like... Like uh, Miss Summer smells a a, des- a smell of desire in the air, so you're you're being pulled you're being drawn to the flowers. Love is in the air. Yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab Every a piece of hand. Um, and, it's, and... actually the only one affected is Dick. Oh okay. Man, I really gotta work on my willpower or something. Don't I get like a willpower roll to resist this or something? Don't, like don't a, you have no? Don't you have no? Like a conviction? You have, you have zero. Is your discipline at mediocre? Do you my have discipline zero? isn't mediocre, but my conviction is at like good. Yeah, but it's discipline to to, to reveal that to stop that. Maybe you should. Oh, I, I really don't really gotta train my discipline. Yes, maybe you should drop. Um, I don't know. Maybe scholarship for for discipline, or driving for discipline. Hmm. I mean, if we're going to keep using the never never to. Move True. to um, move. So is, so We're already Dick, so is Dick dead? Did we kill Dick? Is that what happened? No, Are you guys stopped fires? Dick. <laughs> My <laughs> discipline roll was a four. Yes, he he he, he went uh, and la- he touched the flower. And went maybe not, and, and he thought about it. 
What you see is you see him look down and he gets this smile on his face and he looks down at the flowers and he's like, oh, that's lovely. And he reaches down towards it and he stops and he's like, wait a second. I fucking hate flowers. <laughs> <laughs> and he just stomps on it over and over again. As, as he reaches back up, um, a couple of flowers reach up and start sniffing his crotch. We They're worse to... than cats. The more you hate them, the more they try to get all over you. <laughs> Fucking things. Uh, brushes them off. <laughs> we gotta go. When, right, he's, go. when 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 flowers start sniffing you, it's time to go. <laughs> I, I had them down the it's path. It's it gets even worse when they sniff flowers your crotch. Alright, so... so... That was, that was my They're dogwood flowers. So... Oh, ah. no. So... After a brief 10 minute walk across the field, she takes you up to a creek and she goes, In magical Soviet Russia, the flowers <laughs> sniff you as she opens up a chair into the never never. Da, camera, da. Da. And then. So, so Tara opens up, start walking through. Wow, well, she. Yeah. And start I walking through. through. Ever so graceful. And she hops through into this. We're in an RV park. We Instantly, a feeling of depression sweeps over the party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was not going to say, that's a lot of RVs. Don't worry, guys. It's just a mile to the casino. <laughs> a mile. Through RV <laughs> land. I guess we're going to need to find our way over. Can we see that? Wait, since it's a mile, it's not going to be... Can we, see the, can, we see, can we see can we can we see the can we see the the casinos from where we are? I don't know, can you? It's pretty fun. Come on, let's get out of here before you burn out all the bug zappers, Foxy. Let's go. We got to We got to go. That's actually hilarious as shit. Um uh we got to go. I don't know no, why are you in, why are we even here? We got to we're not even near anywhere near, Well, actually, you know what? Dick, that got us to the Where city. we where are we you know where are we going to go? Like where are we where do we know exactly where this guy is supposed to be? Is it so, in one of the casinos? What's going on? So Lucy starts starts spinning around and goes, "There." And she points to the city city a little more than a more than a mile away. Should we set up some place? <laughs> Should we set, we need to find a place we can set up. We need to be able to find at least some place we can just Group, group up and at least call temporary home. I made reservations at the hotel. Is it big enough for all of us and a bear? She reserved the presidential suite. Could the bear unbear for purposes of going to the hotel? Yeah, I could I mean, do what that. Fun, what fun is that? You know, it <laughs> yeah. strikes me that much like in New Orleans, if I simply put a leash on him <laughs> in Vegas... That's... It's true. I mean, it is Vegas. Um, yeah, well, make quick, sense. look like Ma quick, look like Mike Tyson. So Nobody will question you. <laughs> I turn, I turn, Mike I turn, Tyson. I turn the gen. I go like, and I go like, and I go. So you reserved. You reserved the presidential suite. You're doing pretty good for yourself, huh? Well, you know, I do my thing and. Get paid for it. Get paid. <laughs> as long as we can go over, I guess we can go over there then. No, it's one of those situations where her job keeps her busy, like, literally all the time. So she's not <laughs> pulling, like, a particularly huge pay... I mean, she's doing okay for herself, but she's not pulling a huge paycheck. She just never has the free time to spend any money. You know how it goes. Oh, it's budgeting. That's what it is. Let's she get this over. Very, very good budget. We've actually blown her vacation budget for the next ten years. <laughs> Let's hook it over to the Luxor. We need to be able to get over there. <laughs> so I, one of the doors I, I opens might, up. I might be able to get some help for you from my friend Greg. I'll reimburse you a little bit. Uh, yeah, Greg should be able to pay for this. Yeah. this so this before we go guys. into the casino, I'm gonna kind of grab Foxy by the shoulder and take him aside. Like, hey man, you gonna be cool in there? We're not gonna have a problem, are we? Last time we were in the casino together, it didn't end so good, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, well, I mean, you know, it's it's what I do. Um, what's what's Fox's long... discipline? <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I enjoy a good game with you. It's not like I'm going to actually leave in the middle of the night while you guys are sleeping so I can play at least two or three card games without you guys knowing. 
I would never do that. <laughs> Nick literally, like, he, he's, like, nodding and he's listening to you. He's looking, he's looking like he's not believing you. But he, he's, you know, he, he's, he's with you. My right? dear bear and friend, he... I'm thinking that Fosse looks like a great pillow for tonight. For <laughs> um, but then, then bear starts... <laughs> Sniffing something that's about to the to his right. Yeah, Dick literally like goes like this, and then he stops, and he's like, and then he just turns abruptly to the right and starts walking in that direction. Oh, hey, okay, so the mountains come so up, this, so I this, totally uh, missed everything. Dick and okay. the uh, and the bear who are effectively being like bloodhounds to the right. So basically, you guys showed up, uh, Miss Summers. You're you're in uh, Nevada. Okay. Well, uh, Masters just wanted me to uh, pass on to Fox that he, gave, for all his help, he gave him fifty thousand to blow. To blow who? <laughs> <laughs> to blow Greg. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, to... no, just just to fake play point. With <laughs> yes, take a fake point. Yes. <laughs> Well, this Fox. You should start awarding fate points for the most horrible puns. Like, like point slaver. <laughs> I can't believe you gave me a fate point for a an oral sex joke. All right, I'm gonna go. <laughs> hey, by the way, was, you guys can nominate each other for fate points. Gave me a fate point for oral. So you're welcome, Foxy. Okay, hey, no problem. That's what I'm here for. Oral sex. <laughs> um. So. So okay. maybe before your addiction kicks in, you could give her some money for the hotel. Yeah, I'll be able to. I'll, I I fork over some cash. Not well. I fork. Well, actually, hold on. I owe you it. I'm I'm gonna transfer it over to your account. I'll make a couple of phone calls. It should be okay. Just I'm just saying before the gambling starts. I will get it be in writing. Okay, it's not get a big it deal. Writing. It's not a problem. Hey. It's gonna Anymore? be well. I mean, it's not that big of a problem. I will be okay at the. It's fine. It'll be fine. It'll be. I'm the one who thinks we should take a little break. Yeah, let's take let's take five minutes. We oh, have yeah. we have an hour left left in the session before we have to wrap it up. Okay, so you want to so do we'll five, five minutes? I can do to stand up for a minute. Yeah, we'll take five minutes, guys, and that's it. Try to be okay. Oh yeah. man, I would love to stand up and stretch my legs. While you're in the car. That'd be amazing. I'd be impressed if you can. You do a vertical stand, lean back. Exactly. <laughs> I guess it's right, so on the car. We'll see you guys in a little bit then, right? So yep, we five minutes, on break. If All right, guys. All right. We are bizzles.
We're kind of we're back kind out there, guys. So, hello. Um, Fox was here. Why there? Um, I do want to ask Dick. Dick, you can go run. You can go off and prepare for your stream now if you want. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I still, uh, like I said, as long as, as long as we're done, you know, by like ten thirty or so, eleven. I should be. I should have plenty of time. Okay. I'm not gonna be the party pooper here. I feel the urge to read your disclaimer in in echoey announcer voice. Do so. Siroth is currently broadcasting with others, so the stream is currently rated M for mature. Expect language and other content that some viewers might find offensive. The content is not approved for children. That was I'm gonna beautiful. Need... That was amazing. I'm gonna need you to record that as an audio clip so I can put that in my stream. Fate point. And take a point for that one. <laughs> and guys, feel free to use your... use your fate points. They're there for you Seize to use. Seize the day. Seize the day. Remember, you get, you're guaranteed at least one fate point every session. So please feel free to use them for critical roles. I have no problems with that. I always forget about using them for roles. I always think of them as a way to do cool things. Yeah. You can do, you do cool things, do, do roles, that kind of stuff. And don't forget to tap aspects. Yes, tap your aspects. Wait, how do you... How does that work? Do like, I get, get a bonus for them? You or? get plus two to your roll for tapping an aspect if you tap an aspect for your, the, an appropriate aspect. Okay, so... Tapping an aspect. Oh, so like, okay, gotcha. Hmm. Oh, I've got some really useful aspects then that I should have been using. Yes, Specifically, like, always kick a man when he's down. Yes, also, Babyface is useful for your defensive roles. Because Diana is keeping you internally young, therefore improving your body, therefore it can, it, you can tap that for, for dodging. I'm too pretty to get scars. What are you talking about? Exactly. Exactly, that type of stuff. I'm gonna remember that. Time to start munchkinning the Dresden files. But it's not munchkin approved. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. Well, you see here, DM, clearly my stats show. <laughs> Allow me to reference you to section 22A of my character sheet. I mean, are we back on now? Are yes, we I think so. We've been on. Have we? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, hi. So, so, Mr. GM, you want to tell Fox or should I? <laughs> Go ahead. Alrighty, so, Mr. Fox. <laughs> um, Mr. Fox. <laughs> Gregory wants to hire us on a little side mission while we're here. You up for making some money? I mean, it depends. What is uh, what did uh, Mr. Masters need us to take care of? I mean, he's been gracious enough to lend me the shed in the back, so I may, I'm 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 basically indebted to a certain amount. All right. So essentially, he wants to open up a casino in Louisiana. So he needs he wants to hire a blackjack dealer, a craps person, and and a Texas Hold'em person, and we get ten percent. Uh, fire's fee of like whatever. So part of that money he gave you is to be able to hire people from Vegas to bring them over to New Orleans. We lost you, by the way, in audio. Yeah, so what, what, what did you hear? <laughs> All I heard was that money that he that was given to me was to help. I, I miss I miss I misinterpreted that. No, that, that that's literally just for you to blow. <laughs> Okay, but what if comes? To uh, you sh Ma Greg wants to hire you to find the best dealers and lure oh, yeah. them to New Orleans to start a casino. While we're here in Nevada. Yes. 
Okay, but but, it's, but he gave me a credit card, and that's what we're using to find the people to gamble with. Oh, I mean, you can give me the credit card, and I can hold on to it while we're there. Uh, I don't think you. Uh, he he wants me to be the manager of this. <laughs> right, uh, of the casino. About no. I mean, like I mean, I know my, I know my gambling. So I mean, if you want me to hold on to the credit card, I can find it. I can find people a lot faster. He's adamant about me holding on to it. Okay, I mean it's not a big deal. Um, it's supposed to be a together thingy. No, no, we're no, bonding, no, I mean, Boxy. We're I mean, bonding. I'm, it's, it's completely fine. Yeah, it's completely um, fine. Twelve. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to try and. Uh, that roll was horrible. But essentially, I'm funding you on the leash. <laughs> that hard. That roll was horrible. My deceit roll was horrible. <laughs> horrible deceit roll. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everybody saw right on through that. Yes, they did. Oh, I should have rolled a fade point. Fuck. I should have done the fade point. I should have totally done oh, it. Oh, yeah. Damn it. Um. Do you have empathy or rapport, uh, cantaloupe? Or deceit? Uh, I believe I do have deceit. Roll deceit roll. Damn it. You see right through it. Oh, the idea that she was able to really... Yeah. Oh, it was, yeah. was, it, was it Deceit Roll versus Deceit Roll type of thing? Yes. No. Then you are! Damn it. She just her. squishes. Just is through it and just kind of... Just to mock you makes a line that's even... That's just infinitely better than yours. Well, if Mr. Masters needs, take, needs us to hire people, I have no problem to be able to take care of it. We just gotta make sure that I... Well... In reality, I can't hire from any of, any of the larger casinos because me and uh, a lot of those electronics in there are not going to be friends. More than likely, we're going to have to travel to some um, some more familiar territory, i.e., back rooms for for that I'm usually go to. Well, we'll find some people for you. Not a problem. And that's cool, but and the, it's not. And then he has he he, uh, he has a. Bonus person if if it doesn't blow the bank, it, it's a uh, what was it again? Baccarat. Baccarat. I don't know what that is, but if we can get one of those as well without breaking the bank, he's he'd be happy with that too. What are uh, we? What are we in? 007? Are you trying to hire 007? <laughs> you're gonna get what you're gonna get. I mean, what do we? We only have a certain amount of people. Get the casino he, you want. At least just, get Sterling Archer. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So we need to get over to Luxor. How are we getting over there? We got to get over there as soon as possible because I don't think this guy is going to wait, <clears throat> or woman, or whatever it is, is going to wait for us to get there. Um, should we get a cab or a walk? I mean, we, I could probably we're, get over there. Or a shuttle. Or... I mean, maybe we could hitch a ride. I mean, you know what? Can somebody do me a favor? Oh, actually, you can't. Can somebody do me a favor? Can somebody go over to... Uh, can somebody go away from me about 10 feet and call us an Uber? Aww. You know, Jen, you should have or you know, organized a shuttle for us. <laughs> yeah, apparently I should have. I'll go... Call a horse-drawn carriage. Call an Uber. <laughs> an Uber. <laughs> um, then... This um, the bear returns and tries to get your attention towards some RVs. The bear comes, well, comes it, back? It tries to get your attention towards some RVs. You see, is, are you actually in bear form right now, or are you human? Yes, I'm in actual bear form. And so... <laughs> Just an out-of-character question. Are we going to find Jack Sparrow here? Mm, I doubt it. I mean, that... I cannot answer that question at this time. I can tell you no truths or tell you no lies. Undoubtedly, he's the worst trailer park resident I've ever heard of. <laughs> <laughs> um, hold on. So, hold on. Let me do a let me do an alertness roll on this. So, as you see see the bear walking up, you notice Dick is not there anymore. 
like he's gone? Yeah, you don't see him at all. Wait, he did this before. You did hear, though, a mo uh, as as Kabo as the bear walks up, a loud thump, like like a like a very weak door getting kicked in. Which direction is it? To the right. Uh, pretty much where the bear came from, which yeah. was from the right. So, to which the bear just turns around and just goes back. Okay, so I hear the door getting kicked in. So, so. <laughs> So Fox turns to the bear and goes, "What is it, boy? What is it, Lassie? What's going on? <laughs> Will Timmy fall, fall in the well?" well? <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, and then, literally starts walking before the bear even says anything. He just starts going for it. And the at the same time, the bear, uh, rather um, somebody tries to trip you. <laughs> so what does Jen say? Um, hey, who are you? To the bear. To the bear or oh, to, the, to the air? To the, to the unseen friend next to her? Sarah, what are you doing here? Did you see where our friend went? The bear just points towards to the right. The typing is so strange because there's this. What kind of friend? There's dead air, and I have no idea what's going on. Well, you're not used to me having my mouth shut. That's the problem. So, so you guys are feel free to. Okay, so you guys walk a little bit. The bear leads you guys over to deck. Okay, where is is he on the ground? Is he dead? Is he dead? I hope he's dead. Why do you always want me to be dead? What? Seriously, you get this wrong with you on your face, and you're like, is he? Is he dead? Is he like, dead? That's the only stiff dick we get. That's the only stiff dick we get. <laughs> Hi, hilarious. Hi, Jinx. Um. Okay, so is it up? Is it? Are we in front of a? I know you're typing. Are you? Are we in front of an RV right now? Another yes, one it's it's, it's kind of like like that RV that's directly in front of you, in front of the screen there, the big one. Is the door open, or are we coming through? The door's in there, and Lazy's standing in the doorway. What's going on with you? What's going on with you, Dick? What's going on? <laughs> then the bird I've been waiting to find out what's going on with me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm standing oh. in the doorway, gun in hand, and I kind of gesture back at you, hold up, there's blood everywhere. I did tell you what you, what you saw in there. I didn't get that message. Look on Twitch. All I got um, from Twitch is a message that says alertness. I did send you one afterwards. I didn't get it. Okay, then I don't know what happened to it. All right, so inside inside there are uh, three bodies. Most prominently in front of you is a 15-year-old girl, blonde hair. Her chest has been ca carved open. There's mm. some blood, but there's not a lot. There's not a lot there, and. Um, on her forehead is stapled the notes. Oh, oh! Can I get a can I can I roll investigation? Yes, you can. Can can, can I have a bonus because it's the first chance I've had to investigate <laughs> anything since we started this campaign? Yes. How much of a bonus do I get? Plus, you get plus one. Yay! Alertness. Vernon. You notice that that Zave guy is that the Zave that the bear is leading you to another trailer to the, the which is next to the one. All right, I'm gonna follow Ooh, the bear. I investigate the shit out of it. <laughs> yes, you do. Fuck out of it. He immediately finds out who the killer is. I was gonna say burn a fate point, but maybe not. Damn. God of investigation. Steel. <laughs> so, um, this is clearly where the murder happened. The murder of those bodies. Yes. This is clearly where 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 it was there, and you do notice that um, there is by the body a um, around the body is a ritual circle. 
and um, of Babylon in the, the but the, the wording is of Babylonian origin. Is there anything around it besides what? the circle? Like, is there objects and things? No, no objects. Just I bet you're going to be expecting some Clothu Barad and Nick too. I was going to say I was I was going to be a little upset if I rolled an eight on my investigation and what I got was someone was moited. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Do we? Is a, is a, is a, of course. Is, a, is, a, is, a, is it? Is it knowledge amongst the group that Jen has psychometry at all? By the way, Tanya. Um, I'm not sure if she would have shared that right off. Um, because it's still something she's the very working on. At the door. Okay. Of the RV is, 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 she, everyone to. is she? Is she? Is she capable with it right now, or does it take still more time with her to, to, to learn it? She's capable with it, but she's kind of talking to herself right now, like, out on the road still. No, oh, she's still outside of the- she's outside of the RV, she's not in there at all? She's not in there yet. Shit, okay. I'm okay, in so two questions. Army. Is there anything of note about no. the other two bodies? Have they also been, like, ritually killed, or just the 15-year-old? Just the 15-year-old. The other two were- just had their next, next slit. They appear to be like her parents or something, or they have very similar facial structures. So you take a lower role for the Babylonian mm -hmm. stuff. Babylonian knowledge. Well, yeah, that think... Babylonian baloney. <laughs> All right. Well, while she's deciphering the circle, I'll go take a look at the other RV that the the bear was all up about. That's Actually, right. Oh no, the, there's no ritual circle yet. You, that has I haven't opened that up yet. I thought you were looking at the ritual circle in the big RV. No, I followed the bear. Okay, so you kicked the bear in, and there was a it's the same thing. It's a it's a male though with a just a single male male child though, fifteen, with a stable in the forehead. Okay. So it's two separate murder scenes. One is a family of three. The other one is a family of two. There was only one person there. And the my the RV kid. had only the kid. So kid in one area, and then the other one was one kid and two and two adults. I did not go in. I'm just looking through the door. Because I grew up in the age of um, NCIS, and I wouldn't want to disturb the crime scene. <laughs> I'm just waiting for Dick. Hey, Dick! I hey, got hey. some more for you. Excellent! <laughs> I love dead people. Do I, do I need to rule investigation <laughs> again for this scene, or does it carry over? Like hey. it's kind of like one big investigation, right? You would, uh, but you're on. You go to a different area, so yes, you would have to do that. Have to have to reinvestigate. All right. Just get the uh, shit out of it. Hopefully. So I'm gonna. Hey, Jen. Um, are there any dead people around here? Oh. Recently dead, talking to you. Hey, hey Dick. You're very. Oh, you're more weird. interested in this building right now, Dick. Yeah, like the, the the there's only one corpse. I'm one third as excited about investigating this. Hey, hey, Dick. About <laughs> yeah. So I have a little bit of theory here. Babylonians typically associated with red cord, isn't it not? Yes. Do you think, think maybe? What? You do you think, broke up. Uh, do, you, do you think that maybe they have a hand in this? Well, it's very possible, but uh, what about the witch reference? I don't recall like. I, I don't have. I don't. I don't know about that either. But I mean, I, I mean, don't know. Just are, something are there about any the witches screen. that have been allowed to live recently? <laughs> Like any witches of note? In our hearts forever, Hermione Granger. <laughs> Hermione Granger. Hermione Granger. But, but, <laughs> but yeah, no, seriously. I mean, I, I don't know. Something kind of screams at me Red Court here. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. That adds up. Would can they I, have left I, all that blood around, though? Can, can Fox start looking at the runes and the, the, as well? Uh, just to do a, a lore roll if it's something that he could have recognized yes as well yes 
Mm. You know, the bear is um, rummaging through the, the fridges trying to look for something to drink. Hey, <laughs> knock it off. Uh, this is the crime scene. Go, go, go. Let's go. Mm. And stop being a bear. It's not always bear time. Bear necessities, dude. Bear necessities. It is not always bear time. He's trying right. to commune so, with nature. I'm so, going to start yes, like, exactly. gathering the evidence from the crime scene. So, yeah. the Lord is very interested. In the, I'm going to start uh, looking for blood samples, fingerprints, uh, anything that looks out of place, the point of entry, things like, you know, standard investigative procedures. So, so Dick's behind is very interesting to Fox right now. <laughs> like a point you mean of more entry? than usual. Like he, like like Fox is now staring at at Dick's Dick's backside. When you went to go look at the ritual circle, it's because I rolled a zero. Yep. Hmm. Okay, so I'm distracted. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Dick is looking for a point of entry, I guess. Well. <laughs> 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 Anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, now there was that kind of injury. What was the hell there for Summers? I was just throwing a uh, alertness out. Okay. Um. So, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to gather and catalog as much as I can about the scene. You um, notice that Jen is very, very sad looking. That she's and she's very, very sad talking to. And she's having a very much one-sided conversation here. Who who is it? Is that is that something that the entire group notices, or just certain certain select people? Just uh, cantaloupe there. Hey Jen, everything okay? <sighs> the bear does leave the um. We have a the alone. She just doesn't change back into a human. <laughs> No, not really. Um, this girl, Sarah, she was killed. And, um... It had something to do with a chanting circle. So Jen looks from one RV to the other, and then points to the first one. And says she was killed in there with her parents. And then her boyfriend was killed in the next one over. And she said the guy was chanting. Um, and his eyes and hands glowed orange. And her energy went into him. And it had something to do with the balance of terra firma. Orange? Orange. Like what we saw? And then the first never never? The orange guy who was taking something from the corpses on the battlefield? Who are you asking? Is it going to be towards Siroc? I think so. Jen? Uh, Jen. Okay, first, so she could ask her dead person and they could, I don't know, maybe share images mentally is apparently what I'm thinking. It's, ver it's verbal ex images? Wait, well, is it verbal I mean, she, she could ask, like, descriptive questions of orange dude. What do you look like? Do you know? Tall, she said. But hold on a second. Let me see. Did he look like you should be on the Normandy? <laughs> on the Normandy? <laughs> you know, that one. <laughs> you know, the I mean, Normandy. That's a thing, but it's a different thing. I know, I'm kidding. I was kidding. Shepherd. It all makes sense now. The i there is Shepherd. Glowing orange. How hair. long ago was she killed? And did she see where the man went? Have we, at this time, as a group, noticed, and we've already come over to Jen hearing this from outside of the RVs? I was killed about three hours ago. Comes out of Jen's mouth. Oh, uh, Jen? You okay? Wait, are we talking to... What's your name again? I'm Sarah. Hi, Sarah. This uh, is 
Hey, sir. Uh, um. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Um. Jen told us that you were killed by an orange dude. Well, his eyes glowed orange. But the rest of him wasn't glowing orange. No, he had a goatee, and a uh, brown goatee. Brown goatee, yes. And he was a white person. Yes. Did you know him? Never seen him before. What How was he you? dressed? He was dressed in a suit. What were you How many fingers did he have? The the better choice to just kind of stares at Jen. He had six fingers on his right hand. Oh. Better stands up and tries to hug unique. Jen. Because it's, it's just confused. Um, right now, very is confused with the the whole Sarah situation. It's just it's never something something you've never seen before. Yeah, it just Can has this anything WTF else to playing over and over and over again. Guys, we have brain. a six fingered man. We're do you? Well, as long as the man doesn't have two right hands, we're okay. <laughs> I, I, Where's I, the Nega Montoya? <laughs> no, that wasn't. I, I've seen that movie. It wasn't him. Well, no, he was on his left hand. But I mean, what were you doing when you died? Well, I was play. I was getting ready to go to prom with my boyfriend. Sarah, do you have abilities to do special things that other people can't do? What special things? Like magic type things. Magic isn't real. Okay, maybe not magic. Hold but... on, just to prove just to prove that magic is real, I turn into a man right in front of her. Ah! And she jumps out her gen. Um... There we go. <laughs> Dang it, man! Does anybody have a spare incense sensor by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> Jen, get her back. <laughs> Jen, get her back. <laughs> what? I proved my point. I proved that magic exists. Yeah, it's harder than it looks. You scared her away. <laughs> all right is jen able to get her back at all i don't know is she gonna do a ritual she'll for try it? now my, you'll take one mental stress for for this all right so what do i put a little check over the mental stress box yeah. yes okay remus just unplugged mr ross's uh monitor Oh, beautiful. That's hilarious. Well, he we actually had to move her power her power button from her top of her computer to inside of her computer. Because Remus kept shutting off her computer. Smart cat. No. So yeah, I, I all of a sudden goes, <laughs> ah, what are you? And Jen starts flapping her, flapping her arms around. Yeah, are you back? <laughs> what is this going on? Oh my god! Oh my god, look what I played the RV last month! Okay, alright. Thank you for that visual. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Hold on. Uh, are you asking what I am? What's this roll for? Roll for? She, she's like, ah, what's going on? Oh, like, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, sweetie. It's okay. He's, he's, a, silly, he's a silly friend. He's a silly friend. Girl, we don't pay attention to the bear man. Butchered. Harden up a little, will you? It's okay. It's okay. We're just so, trying to help you. The okay. bear man, We're just uh, trying to I'll help just you. leave, okay? I'll just leave. Yes, that's a good idea. It should make it easier for you guys. <laughs> I say as I leave. I totally took right. it out, but I'm trying to sink. Um, you, it, 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 it's innocent. It's actually, it's uh, in Fox terms, like, it's okay. When we say magic, you've been to Las Vegas, right? You remember those shows? That's what we're talking about. Nothing else. Mm. That that was actually part of a show. We wanted to see if you were in show business. Mm. You're full of shit. Tell you, tell you what I'll do. <laughs> All right, I've got a, I've got a thought. We were just talking about using our aspects, right? Well, one of Dick's aspects is chivalry ain't dead. Okay. Which means that he will always, and when he sees a woman in distress, he feels compelled to go out of his way to help her. Okay. Right. So I'd like to tap into that aspect and use my empathy to try and explain to her and help her accept, kind of like, you know, start to bring her up to submer, bring her down to a submerged level. You know what I mean? Yeah. Kinda go like, ahead. Roll it. That's plus two. 
Um, hmm. Uh, I think. What's her name again? I'm going to remember. It's Sarah. Sarah. I think I've done everything I can. Just, I, just I, I think I'm going to leave this session. Can you hold on for, ten, for for five ten more minutes, sir? Almost um, done. We're all, we're getting ready. We're getting ready. as soon as we finish this scene, we're going to wrap it up. Okay. Yeah, Dick, you have no problem problem with talking her down. All right. So with a shocking display of tenderness and empathy. Dick is able to help calm the girl, soothe her nerves, and explain to her a little bit about what's going on, at least enough for her to be able to grasp what's happening around her. Okay. <sighs> Jen has tears streaming down her face. You, you're a nice man. And 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 oh, and, nice and, and, <laughs> and 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 Sarah grabs Jen grabs Dick's butt by the cheeks and kisses kisses Dick on the on the lips ever softly. That's 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 very nice, sweetheart. Check Jeez. back with me when you're eighteen. All right. <laughs> when you're eighteen, little ghost. <laughs> when you grow up, little ghost, <laughs> three be, more years. When when the ghost when the ghost who's dead grows up for another three more. The afterlife. 18 is 18, fine. Foxy. 18 is 18. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so. Anyway, right, what else? All right. Um, any other questions? I think that's pretty much all the questions we could throw out there. I, I mean, did like... remember his. I do remember his got his his friends said that that they need to get back to talk to a Mister R- Mister Ruben. Ruben? Mr. Ruben. That, yeah, mm. they said mis- they kept calling. They they kept getting a phone call, and the the the, the big orange dude kind of got got a little upset about it. But they go, it was Mr. They kept answering they answered the phone and said and said yes, Mr. Ruben, a lot. Hmm. Did they take anything from you or your boyfriend? Just just our lives and our energies. Mm. They took your energy, but not your soul. If I well, if they took my soul, would I be here? Possibly. Well, maybe that's what they took was my soul, and this is what was left. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I've just been a ghost for three hours. I'm but a kid. You're the adult here. I don't know so much about ghosts. We we're maybe we adults, should... but we're we're special kinds of adults. You're not. We're not your yes, average. Yes, we're aware that you're short bus special. Clearly, since you're a bear, <laughs> oh, you couldn't have been wow. something cool like a fox. Wow. Ooh. No one's going to be really as cool as a fox, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A bear in Las yeah, Vegas? God, whoever thought heard of that thing? He, you must be dying in this heat. Okay, we should probably... Uh, yeah, I think you might need... Are you going to be okay? Well, we should probably let you go. No, I, I'm cozy here. This is cozy. I like this place. And she starts pat, starts patting her body down. She's not going to leave, is she? Uh, is Jen aware enough to push her out? Yes, conviction roll. Or discipline, sorry. Oh god, if she rolls a zero, I'm going to laugh my ass off. And then she takes the ghost by the hair and shoves her down and beats her over the head with a newspaper and says, Bad, bad, bad girl! <laughs> yeah, so you just see her beating the air. Bad. Is my body. We can do to help Miss Sarah kind of move on or whatever it is that. Find the light. Go into the light, Sarah. Go oh, into the light. Is that suddenly just so? Jen, I just asked so, Jen to tell her that I may just be a bear, but I'm a wrestling bear. Oh, wow. <laughs> so. I know I'll tricks. Her of your intelligence. Someone should introduce her to the Goblin King. Yes. I'm so, a bear, but I know tricks that no simple dog could pull off. Will, will you see a dog possibly wrestle the rock? No. So Jen sees, sees Sarah Thus flip, I am flip off Xavier as she starts heading towards the sun and then, then fades off in the dark, then fades. Well, I think well, she's gone. Doing? And she gave you the finger bear, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I 
I don't mind at all. Because <laughs> for all I care, she can go to whatever part of the afterlife she belongs in. Okay, so, we've got a name. A sandwich name. That's a lead. Mm, you do have well, a lead? I'll tell you what. Why don't you guys go back to the hotel and get settled in? I'm going to pound the pavement and talk to a few people I know in this town and see what I can find out about this, uh, Mr. What was his name again? Ruben. Uh, Ruben. Ruben. I will Mr. not forget Ruben. that because it was a sandwich. Find out about Ruben. <laughs> We're chasing a sandwich. Right. I'd so, like to stay in, check out the RV. You guys start hearing some, uh, sirens. We or not. <laughs> Let's go. We better beat feet, make a hasty retreat, guys. Let's go. Let's get out of here. We got to make sure. We got Dr. Seuss in the house. All right, so you guys call an Uber, and you guys make it back to the hotel, and this is a good point to say. This is this is a good natural point to wrap things up anyway. Mm-hmm. So, uh, thank you all for coming out there in Twitch land and YouTube. I appreciate it. This is a little bit short episode because... Uh, We'll have to make sure in two hours on you on Twitch to go join the Lazy General for a 24-hour Stardew Valley stream. You're playing Stardew Valley for 24 hours? Yep. Wouldn't be the first time. Holy shit. Yeah, she's playing Stardew Valley for 24 hours for hitting a thousand subscribers, if I remember correctly. Followers. Yes. Followers. Oh, yeah. Followers. A thousand Three subscribers. Cheapest. I'd be in, like, probably in Fiji or something. Yeah. <laughs> You'd go to the Fijis. So you guys make sure you follow uh, the Lazy General and Kabuki out there for some great streams, straight great contact content. Join us back next week for more Dresden Files, where we continue to investigate Las Vegas. Uh, I'll be back personally on Sunday for pro for some more XCOM Long War. Um, so you guys have a great day and good night, everybody. Night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Congratulations, Lazy. Thank you.